Hello, everybody. Welcome to the third uh, conference call. It's a little after midnight, and I just woke up. Um, please hold one moment while I connect us into the conference call. This service is provided in high definition by freeconferencecallhd.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Access code accepted. There are 92 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. Uh, again, my throwaway phone blew up yesterday, guys. The comms were a lot smoother, um, but as of right now, I'm down to one line and uh, just kind of making do with what we got. I wish I was an octopus with that many phones and faces, but uh, I'm going to move on to the next caller. Comms stay on and uh, move on to the next one. A lot of people trying to speak. I'm looking at a 9519. There you go. Hey, this is CJ from Texas. Uh, I just wanted to. Uh, Hey, you guys, I'm a fellow patriot, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to make it up there and uh, stuff out uh, as boots on the ground, but I just wanted to show my support quick and easy. That's all I got. That's awesome. We appreciate that. You know, I'm just trying to kind of get an idea of, like, what kind of fans are coming in. Uh, what state did you say we're from again? I'm from Southeast Texas. All right, Southeast Texas. Well, you're a lot closer to people. Have you had any word, any weird movement, man, anybody disappearing, anything weird like that? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's an interesting thing. We've been keeping track of it down here. So, all right, we'll get the other comms guys on board. We got a couple of guys that supposedly got arrested on their way in. That were from Texas. We're trying to get some feedback on that. So, if you hear about anybody that literally might be missing, you let us know. All right. We'll do, sir. Hey, uh, just to let you know, I've been on with you guys for almost four hours now, and uh, you guys are by far the most reliable source of information. Uh, it's uh, good good that you're doing this. That way we can stay in the loop down here. Well, oh, man, well, how about with comms, man? If you can get any more uh, boots on the ground or any other uh, you know, advisories, uh, feel free to send them our way, man. We really need more of that. Um, a lot of people have chimed in. You know, we've got a lot of conjecture, but if you can get some verified stuff for us or find some sources, and then uh, especially boots on the ground, please let us know what's up, and uh, you're welcome to come on board. Most definitely, sir. Thank you very much. You guys have a great evening. Just Awesome. Thanks for being a fan there. That's where I'm getting fans and I started on the conference call. Hey, uh, 3171, you're back in? Yeah. Did you want to be back in? Yeah, I'm here. I put you back in. Did you mean to be here? Uh, no, but uh, again, uh, his last four of his handles, 0236. Um, I've also got a uh, another female one uh, by the last name of Green. Uh, she's no super herself, and she's been collaborating with uh, people down there, I guess. Um, as far as uh, as far as uh, the militia commander that I was on the phone with, he's supposed to be calling you, and uh, I don't know if he knows how to work the, the queue or not, but I've, I've sent him a message, and then I've had someone else relay the message to him as well, so uh, just keep an eye out. Sure. And we'll Sure. Um, we've been saying uh, the number again, dial in if you're hearing this broadcast is 559-726-1300. You can press 276-125-POUND and that'll get you in the call. And then if you need to talk, you press star 6 while you're listening to all of us here through your phone and that'll take you in the queue where I'm trying to get to you guys as they come in. There's like six people in the queue. I'm watching for those numbers you just shot me, bro, and uh, I'm not seeing them at the moment. So I'm going to keep moving as we can pile through those uh there's about a dozen people up there. Okay, I can I can tell I you. I saw the number, but there's so many people in queue there at the bottom. I'm gonna have to start pushing real fast. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I can give you a confirmation of what he said. <coughs> that anything that won't. Um, give it quick. Give it quick. Um, he said that snipers are moving in and that they're afraid. they his men are kind of uh, worried that they're going to hit the ranch tonight or in the middle of the night. Uh, he said that. It is confirmed that the militia, the one militia member is missing, uh, forward assault missing, and that. Where's forward assault from? Uh, I think he, I think he said Texas. Wait, wait, polar, polar assault. That's North Dakota. Well, 
there we go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sold North Dakota. All right. We're, he uh, he actually did chime in through the internet. Uh, he said he was cool. Um, not sure what exactly his location is at this time. If uh, whoever wanted to chime back in with Polar or Sold, I'm pretty sure I remember them saying he was good. Uh, I got to jump to the next caller. We got uh, over 15 in the queue. Uh, we well, over 100 know. people still on the call. Thanks, bro. Uh, 12, wait, wait, wait. Set, uh, 4779, you're up. Hey, brother. This is Rob Wood from the Illinois State Militia. Oh, I know this guy. Hey, everybody, make sure you listen to what this brother's got to say. I know you personally, man. Thanks for chiming in, bro. Where have you yeah, been? I appreciate you trying to get rid of all this propaganda that's being thrown around. We're just trying to do, you know, the best we can right now. I know it's a little awkward. <laughs> I'm trying not to, you know, kick sides. I'm just trying to keep, keep my cool, keep everybody logical. And uh, so far, so if there's anything you can chime in with right now, uh, you know, you've got a certain... Uh, just monitoring, seeing okay. what's all going on, trying to get the, what's right and what's wrong all together here. Well, let me ask you this. You and I have spoken, I know what you know, partially, and uh, I know we, we think a lot on other subjects outside of what's going on right now, but uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, legal-wise, when it comes down to it, do you believe that the people that right now that we can prove are doing wrong, can have certain measures put up against them to get them out of the position for them that they're in right now without any uh, course of violence. We just do it, you know, use their own uh, lawyer speak and, and word of wizardry uh, against themselves so that we can get these jet bags out of here and put some real constitutional Americans in the block. And voting not working anymore. We need to say, screw it, we're being proactive, we're peacefully removing their ass, uh, citizens' arrest if you don't answer to this, uh, you know, answer to this, uh, lean on your body and uh, game on. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely possible, but it's going to be a thing of uh, that whole word game. There's one thing wrong, and everything could go haywire. Right. You know, just the fact of how everything works with the wording could just destroy everything. But it's uh, definitely a difficult situation. It could go either way. And I guess it all depends on, you know, what route people take, how many people stay calm, and how many people lose it, and. Uh, just go haywire and take it the way it doesn't need to go. How long uh, have you been chimed in, bro? Uh, ever since uh, the gentleman Ryan came on, about an hour before he came on. Inside the Bundy Ranch there, so. So uh, gotcha, sorry, at least you could, at least you caught that. Um, were you on the day prior, the day prior by chance, or no? Yes. Oh, cool. Yep, no, I've been checking in every now and then to monitor to get correct information. So what do you think, man? Should I go full throttle with this and uh, give Alex Jones a run for his money? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Because there's, 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 I'm not, I'm not there's freaking there's people out. I'm not sweating. I'm not yelling, you know. I'm not about right. to have a brain an aneurysm because I found out there were no shots fired. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to do that shit. Their dirty little fingers are touching Alex Jones as well. So, we need to get a true patriot in there, someone that can't be bought off. That's what I like to do. Glad you know me, because that means a lot what you just said. Well, I'm not going to get brother, bought out. I'm doing this for free on my own regard. Eating two day old Chinese food to just get a yoke. Go with the book. Did my cat are staring at me because I haven't fed them. I had to share my Chinese food from here so I couldn't get away from the mother. Well, yeah, brother, I hope to the rest of your calls, and, uh... Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not I 
I can uh, guide you the right way. Uh, if you have any legal questions that you need to ask, I'll let you know so you're not going to use trouble. Or any questions or, or any statements that you make, let me know. I'll be more than happy to see you on the as well. Oh, wow. Well, would, would you be my honorable, actually constitutional, actually honest, you know, Hillary Clinton, some of my Bill Clinton, not just kidding, already made, but it was bad. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, well, um, well, I'm definitely going to need some guidance. Uh, obviously, people know that I'm not going to be taking advantage of, so if uh, if I can see that, you know, your planning uh, route is, uh, you know, honorable, then maybe we can move forward. You stay in touch with me, though, and uh, throughout the course, I'd like to and, uh, I will send you a friend's request or a message from my actual more serious type of uh, Facebook web page. Um, not my other one, which I used to run to my house. My new York conservative one has my own Facebook channel on the other one. I appreciate that. There are a couple offers uh, like that on the table. No, I've got things that are definitely What would be uh, a what was it, Free the People, Brian, or something? Yeah, Brian with Y. Right. And then Free the People, all one word, uh, and a really bad Polish name to the back. Um, but uh, I should pop up. There's a Native American uh, medicine wheel with unity in it. And uh, you know, it's me. I'm, I'm pretty public. If you just, uh, if there's obviously no room right now to keep uh, adding friends, I, I weeded out 200 people today, and many of them actually person knew throughout my youth that had not been, uh, you know, staying in right. touch lately, so I, I got rid of uh, actual people I, I was, you know, born and raised with that I've known for, you know, 35 some odd years that uh, they haven't stayed in the loop, but I've got a whole bunch of new patriotic friends that I want to stay in touch with, so you got to make do where you can out with the uh, old and new with the new. Uh, I do have to move forward right. to 1220. Yes, please, please, by all means. After things settle down. Yeah, I'm thinking Wednesday, Thursday, maybe try to get back with me when the dust settles here. And uh, Absolutely. maybe we can look forward to doing something. Thank you so much. Uh, 8596, you're up. 8596, you're up. Uh, um, you're cool. Hey, uh, I just want to say uh, thanks for uh, uh, for having uh, followed uh, extremely informative and over a lot of the uh, mainstream media, uh, lack of coverage, and also, uh, you know, get, get some sensationalism from health terms and my kind of crap, but it's a system of pressure that we're actually posting the show, or I think they show, but it's not the show. And I was going right. to to doing that. Oh, and by the way, I'm calling from California, and uh, you would think that this would, would be the last thing to support, you know, like our, uh, constitutional, our constitutional rights, but uh, you belong, right? Because I know a lot of people here that actually, uh, you know, uh, sympathize with, uh, you know, the funny family and their cause, and also do support essentially uh, you know, our constitutional rights, and uh, which is actually pretty surprising because I'm actually from uh, near San Francisco, uh, Bay Area. <laughs> you would think over here it would be, you know, a bunch of uh, you know, 50s and all that stuff, but it's, it's not completely true. I just want to put that out there. Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. I thought you cut out. We, yeah, are you from San Francisco and you were surprised there weren't that many what out there? Older people? I oh, know. I uh, know. So, uh, yeah, well, the thing is, uh, you know, I was born and raised in California, um, you know, near San Francisco area. And we actually do have people here that are uh, for the cause of the Bundy families. Um, and so, you know, uh, we're not just a bunch of uh, people over here. I just want oh, to you. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think all of California was all liberal, man. I know you got plenty of weirdos, black jobs, and children, <laughs> and who knows what. But, you know, those are active in any state, pretty much. You know, some less than others, some in different uh, qualities, quantities, and sizes. But, uh, you know, what can you say, man? Um, it's cool to know that you guys are chiming in over there from the West Coast. We've had pretty much just about every state chime in, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, just about. I think probably short maybe four states, which has been awesome. Um, yeah, uh, so I do have one question though. Um, so and I'm not sure. Yeah, I do have one question, and I'm not sure if you know the answer to this. But uh, from what I've heard, there are some people that are leaving the ranch. Um, do you know approximately about how or what percentage we're leaving? Or because what I'm afraid of is that you know, if they go, 
um, I'm afraid of Joe Gurman might be okay, and now's our time to move in. Um, is there some kind of estimate, or do you think most people are actually going to stay and show me throughout the next week or so? The best I can say is we did have confirmation from the head of security, literally the bodyguard of the Rangers that was there. Um, just getting home this morning at approximately, uh, what was that, 8 a.m. Central, we had just gotten back from a 10 hour trip. So, what does that mean? We left around 9? Mm -hmm. No, 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 sorry, 10 uh, their time. You know, we're kind of starting to get through that time. But, you know, he left and on his way out there were approximately, give or take, uh, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 people still there based on the wow. last that happened. And, well, that's uh, good, that's good. Yeah, since the sheriffs made the deal and go away. Sheriff and Katie just in color, uh, they kind of back down. I'm just happy that it's Americans, it's not for Americans, because uh, apparently the Beyond guys weren't all American at all. Um, yeah. You know, we've got, you know, five, six guys wearing the same name tag that says Johnson, and they're all obviously <laughs> a foreign, um, it kind of raises on some eyebrows, man, and uh, probably raise some sights as well, so to speak. But uh, we'll move on to the next color, okay, go. Yeah, put perfect in front. All right, Dean. Thanks for your time, man. Thanks for chiming in. I'm glad you're a fan. How many hours did you put in? Man, I've, dude, I've been here. I mean, I've I've been listening to your thing all day, pretty much. But um, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up. But yeah, thanks for being there. I really, you know, because right now, as far as what you know, information that is out there, you don't know what to believe. So yeah, thanks again. Seems to be the best source. Thank you. Keep uh, spreading the word and uh, keep this number down. I I, I am sure. going to kind of try to keep these exact numbers dedicated. Um, as often as I can and until further notice, all right? I appreciate that. Hey, thanks, bro. Yep. Uh, 2466, you're up. Hi, I'm Sonia and Thanks for hanging um, out so long. Hey, okay. Um, my brother had called earlier and said he was, um, or he is in Nevada and uh, he was in the room that uh, stuff inside the way in the A1250. About 50 dark shaded vehicles that is going to be range. And so. And wait, 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 before you get the floor, are you going, where were they actually saw? Um, I guess I'll have to get all that. I'm so bad, aren't I? Because I went on the Can you get a general vicinity, what part of the state they were in, what road they might have been on? Uh, they said that they uh, were 40 miles from the Bundy Range. That my brother was telling me. He said, see who you can contact because we're all sitting here on 40 miles. Based on how long ago did you hear this? This is an hour ago. I got on the phone with him to call because I didn't. I went on to a Facebook page to see. There we go. There we go with, you know, you don't know which page to go on to. So. Um, I, I, that was my other question after I said that. After I was, they were 40 miles, correct? That's exactly what he said. We're 40 miles. I'm going to tell them we're 40 miles out, and there's got to be 50 dark shaded uh, vehicles coming through, and these truckers are yelling in the background and stuff. And he said, They're headed that way, man. It's probably about 40 miles from there, so let people know. Just heads up, heads up. He said, All right. Well, we've got a logistics line. If anybody comes from logistics in that vicinity, report in, you know, spread the word, try to get people from this area, Mesquite right. to uh, try to chime in, let us know what we see. Let us know if anything's coming by, because based on my calculations, man, if you spoke to them an hour ago, these uh, lines are already there, if not around the area. Um, we just got confirmation from a couple of different people that everything's really cool up there. So, you know, we have conflicting stories. Uh, obviously, there's perception, you know, the guys on the inner circle seem to think everything's cool. Everybody in the outer circle, they're just trying to get the groups aligned as people come and go. Just so everybody's on the same page as far as outside the complete circle. You know, your point of view is that there may be uh, fleet of vehicles heading that direction, but uh, we'll take that until we can get some uh, boots on the ground uh, confirmation. What I'm going to suggest, though, is if you could contact that person, if they can sign up with Twitter and use mm -hmm. the uh, pound sign and then oath before orders. If you can remember oath, like I took an oath up over the Constitution of yeah. the United States for the you United know, States. And then the word before, right. the uh, F-O-R-E, and then orders, all one word, and tag, actual footage with actual uh, date timestamp on there, so we can verify that that's even today. We had some footage earlier that was some footage from God knows where, of MRAPs heading somewhere. Um, they took footage of it, put it up, hey, did you, today, this is what I just saw. And we're like, yeah, bullshit, because uh, it's already dark out there. They had you to be posting up. 
know, something right. absolutely false. Yeah, yeah, and he said, I mean, he said, I don't know if they're going there. They're headed that direction. They may be going to hotels to hang out for a while. But anyway. All right. Well, so next, he, next, next person, yeah. anybody that's got confirmation of any vehicles in the vicinity uh, that meets that description, uh, let's get some video. Let's get some sort of footage so we can verify that. We're going to jump to the next caller. Thank you. Um, anonymous caller. Hi, this is Bill Two Three Six. This is anonymous. Right, go ahead. I actually, uh, I'm the man, um, one of the commanders of the uh, Northeast Group, and that is actually confirmation that I had boots on the ground working in uh, Bundy Ranch at this time. Awesome. Can uh, you get one of those guys to call the number like you did and wait in line for a minute and let us know they're there? I've been waiting a while. Trust me, I was actually last to call you guys from like uh, three different parties. Uh, I spoke to my last that. contact. Excuse me, sir. I appreciate that. Keep going. Okay, what I have going on right now, I spoke to my last contact approximately three hours ago. He's actually working the Bundy Ranch. He was working point all day in their driveway. He was working all point around the ranch. We had another three other members that were actually working uh, with the Bundy Sons that were uh, actually helping them round up their cattle, and they were at security. As of tonight, approximately, uh, I'm going to go back and say roughly 9.30. I did get a disturbing call from one of my members, and the call was basically that tell everybody out there that BLM has not left. All they have is reposition themselves. Snipers right. are still in the bushels. Um, we only have 22 men right now working the ranch. We're trying to find out where everybody else went. That's very disturbing for us, knowing that we're from the northeast. And you know, that 22, we had five guys at that ranch. You at the right ranch, man, because we just talked to the guys that were on the inside that said that there was more than that there, and they're just trying to get them all on the same page as people are also headed. Nope. These are actual, uh, this is actually credible information. I spoke to my direct contact who's been in touch with me roughly. She's been there since, uh, for the last two days now. He gets in touch with me at least two to three times a day. And my intentions are after I get off this conference call with you guys to reach out to him again and, uh, see what the position is at the time. He did confirm to me that there was numerous times there was health office flying very low, uh, over the Bundy Ranch, which was very disturbing because he felt that, uh, Concerned that if uh, groups don't start showing up again, I think everybody thought this party was over with. When this was a, uh, basically an out thing, and this was a um, retreat in a regroup. Yeah, a lot of people are hearing that as well, man. And uh, we did just actually have the uh, high chain of command of the security guards and bodyguards watching out for the family. Uh, in fact, we actually had uh, you know, Brian on the phone for a minute there um, as he was going outside to go meet up with. You know, a, a group of militia members that were out there to get them unclustered, so to speak. So that's what we got from you inside as about, far as your perception. Are you talking about Brian from um, ASM? Uh, no, we're talking about the uh, current head of security, the liaison from the Bundy family to the rest of the militia that are there. He's been in the house okay. for a minute. He just went outside about an hour and a half ago, I think it was. Yes, yeah, so we have some confirmation that ASM had stepped back for a second. And they're running a skeleton crew at the time. But uh, we're just trying to get this message out to basically, and uh, it was important that one of my contacts explained to me that it's important, it's an imperative that to get it out to the public and to the people that uh, this isn't done yet. This is, this is very, this, this is more like a waiting game, but they're concerned that um, if they're going to hit the ranch, they're going to hit the ranch in the next two days. So when our other confirmation is that we actually have another group going out in the Northeast as possibly leaving tomorrow morning. Um, with, with a decent amount of guys, I'd like to say, uh, with a squad. And uh, we're hoping they're going to be there in time to get help. Don't say too much. Just bring those extra supplies, man, and uh, you know, get them there. We're recommending they definitely come as peaceful protesters that just... Oh, absolutely. Have, you know, oh, absolutely. No, uh, yes, these guys are different intel. Basically, strictly intel. They're hoping to bring supplies such as, uh, I know what my uh, contact has. They need water. They need food. They need... Can, they need some funding there. We're trying to open up yeah. an account over here, too. The problem is we don't want to start sending, uh, like we just told you, water, food, anything, any any good stuff that they need, yeah. and it gets stopped at the borders. As far as funding, we need to be transparent yet uh, on, on the on the, on the reel. So looks like I'm going to take that over. Again, I have trust with our community right now. I'm going to probably set that up if I can tomorrow afternoon and uh, set something up so people can start making appropriate donations. I'm going to keep that as transparent as possible. And uh, make sure that gets to the right people at the right time. Okay. Absolutely, it's a great idea. I think we're going to try to do something out in the Northeast too. We're going to open up some type of funding. Out. We're working on that actually tomorrow. Sure. If you want to chime in, that's being bounced around. We uh, already kind of set a date for that after Monday night. If this is still going, 
um, and, and they're requesting anything, we're just going to set that up and get the ball rolling on that. And then we have plenty of people to chime in, so stay tuned on that. I'm going to jump to the next caller, 3306, you're good. Hello, my name's uh, Wagenberg. I just got oh, back from, sorry, 1931, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, I just, I just got back from the ranch. I had to bring some of uh, the crew that I was out there with back home so they could make it to work tomorrow. I get, back, I get back today, and I see the first thing I see on uh, the Militia Civil Affairs Unit on Facebook, which is an incredible uh, information source for me that the Bundys or the, the Fed said they're going to arrest the Bundys after all the militia leave. That is that a incredible story? Well, think about what you just asked me, bro. I will. Uh, yeah, yeah, you better find that. And I'm not. It's not going to say it's not credible. Okay. 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 You use this as a resource. How long you've been using this as a resource, and how? You know, what's your well, assessment? Is it 100% accurate? It's, it's been very accurate for the most part. Just to let you know who I am, if you look in the Las Vegas Review Journal today, it has got the story about the land grab, and you go to page 23A, and they're showing the guy sitting in the bush. That's me. Bushwhacker, right? What's that? Would you say your uh, handle was Bushwhacker? No, wagon burner. I'm from Arizona. I'm from Arizona. I am in a group uh, which is uh, Arizona Independent Militia, and uh, I saw that. I was uh, wondering, a was that was that credible news story? And uh, I wanted also to give you guys a little bit of intel. On our way out, we did see that at the uh, bridge overpass where they ran the cattle through uh, yesterday. Yeah, they, they've moved equipment in to put in permanent barriers to block that off. That is verified. I saw it with my own eyes. Um, there was trucks, drill, drilling equipment, and all kinds of stuff out there. Um, if if we, we we also know that the BLM or DHS, as you want, whoever it is, did simply move their assets 30 miles away, like on uh, St. whatever that town is there. I'm not, I'm not familiar, familiar with that area. Um, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got eyes on those units, so um, other people have chimed in that uh, the locals are helping out and the locals are trying to give us some play-by-play. -play. Um, they'll be chiming in. We gave uh, a couple of the, the ones that have chimed in uh, access codes to jump in front of the line. Um, so whenever they have time, whatever they can chime in with any relevant news. Uh, we've got a couple people scanning the local channels as far as EMS, uh, emergency frequencies and stuff. Um, yeah. We were trying to translate some uh, dot dot dash that was going on earlier. Um, there is uh, some intel coming down that line, but we got to kind of kind of keep it on a basis of anybody else. That's understandable. We jump on scanner radio right now and uh, go to Mesquite uh, local police fire EMT. Um, you'll be able to do that, and you'll have to translate that on your own if it goes back to uh, more cold oh, like again. But yeah, dude. Here, here, here's my next thing then. So we, know, we know that round one was yesterday, and we won. Okay, I, I'm. I, I need to know whether or not these feds are going to move back in because I'm ready. My truck is still packed. I just got back. That's an eight-hour drive. My truck is still packed. I am. Right now, I am ready to grab up my crew, to, and we specialize in LPOP and sniper position eradication. We've been hunting cartels for the last 15 years and taking taking care of their uh, LP, LPOs and LPOs. Oh, yeah, is, bro. Since you were just there, were you in direct uh, loop with the chain of command? Did you sign any posts and uh, we got the appropriate people? Yes, I, yes, I did. I actually, uh, they, I actually gave them my name and contact information this morning at the meeting. Well, they make you all that sense. Because when the house chimed in earlier, he's like, "Let's do this." Call the part. All the good guys left. The two ones coming in, and we're losing control of, uh, you know, the line of information. We're suggesting people bring in radios. Uh, we highly recommend it. if you got a chance to get the radio check, dude. Um, I, you know, a lot of people have uh, come forward with uh, funding. I would personally put, you know, 50 to 100 bucks on the fact that these guys really need a megaphone, speakerphone, or something like that, a high-powered one for Radio Shack, or even a, a, 
the system, you know, uh, in your vehicle, you know, so that it can kind of sound out and then see the situation. Right, right, right. Well, the only thing that I can offer is going back out there with my specialized crew. And if, if they need that specialized crew, because this morning at approximately, mm, let's say about 2.33 o'clock, we saw vehicles stopping off sniper team up in the hills around the camp area where the militia and the other people were camping out. If they meet us back there, have them call the Wagner. Okay, he's got my phone number on there. Uh, I was there at the meeting this morning. Have him call me up directly. I will come back out with a specialized crew to take care of the sniper position and so we can help secure the area so they can't do that again. Well, uh, it, it seems as though that they are asking for just that, you know, show up as a peaceful protester, still have what you need to take care of business, if, you know, just keep the defensive position for that sake. And uh, I, I, this just came to me, uh, I actually mentioned this, uh, for my car, I don't have a, a, a working MP3 player, so what I do is I have a, a, a transmitter that I plug into the uh, headphone socket of my phone, we turn that on with a AAA battery, and now you can broadcast to uh, certain channels like 88.1, for example. If you give everybody in that vicinity the 88.1 channel, and one person records, you know, uh, what needs to be said and, and directions and such, everybody can, you know, start telling, hey, get on 88.1 in this vicinity. And uh, that way, when, when we broadcast that, everybody can hear that in their own car stereos or on their, uh, their radios. Uh, yeah, that way, here's the, well, what you're talking about is an FM modulator. Exactly. I, uh, I, 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 I do that stuff for a living. Okay. Well, maybe maybe you can help them out with the command. You know, when you get back over there, I suggest that you do that. Um, you know, come in peacefully again. You know, and help monitor the situation if you're able to. Uh, you know, accommodate the chain of command that's been uh, put down there that's having some trouble right now. Yeah, those are both good communications tools to kind of help get everybody on the same page right now. Okay, well, uh, just one last last time. Anybody that's listening in, if you are part of the chain of command, I was there at the meeting this morning. Uh, you've got my handle, Wagonburner. You guys call me up direct so that I can coordinate exactly what I need to do to bring as far as assets and equipment. Uh, generators, radio, batteries, glow sticks, uh, night vision, um, food water, uh, strippers, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. goats. I'm just kidding. I was just joking. I'm sure people oh, wouldn't mind that. No, let's not turn this into a Woodstock and into a serious situation. If you'd like to ask a question, please press 1 uh, to add. Your request has been received. Thank you. Comms 1. Comms 1, uh, 306 hold. Comms 1, go ahead. Um, I'm waiting on an email back right now. I'm about to head off today. It's actually my birthday as well. Uh, oh, wow. so I'm, about to, I'm about to head out and I'm about to pass out because I got to get up at 5.30 and it's uh, yeah. 1 a.m. here in the very I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you, uh, you so, uh, is this possible? I'm going to be on my phone. I'm going to try to get this going again at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I guess later um, on Monday. So everything in between, it's not my fault, man. It's not my fault. It's just people chiming in on a conference call that happens to be open and unmoderated. It's going to be chaos. But after uh, well, meeting, whenever, I get, off, or, whenever I get off at like three, then I'll be able to uh, come in here and do a little moderating. So good luck. All right. Man. Don't get frustrated. I appreciate you chiming in. And comms are going down for the night. I'm going to stay out for a little while, and uh, Tom, you got the right number to chime back in anytime. Later. But, uh, all right, 3306, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I don't want to piss anybody off, but i got friends on the ground at the Bundy Ranch. I've been in constant contact with the Bundy family for the last three days, and I was, I was asked to get on and listen to this conference call, and I'm extremely disappointed in what I've heard listening to this. I'm not a fan. I'm a patriot, by the way. Um, I don't even know who you are, but uh, our country is falling. Our nation is falling. The Bundy Ranch is far from secure. Uh, we did win this first round, but they're still in great danger, of course, and everybody that knows that. We have 37 Muslim 
military training bases operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week around the perimeter of our nation. We have a full-blown criminal government in power. We have a Muslim fraud that people call our president for the last five years in county, and everybody seems to be too damn scared to stand up and tell the truth. And if we keep waiting, it's going to be game over. Our families are going to be living in what Syria is living in right now. I don't know what the hell's wrong with everybody. Why is everybody so afraid to stand up and say the truth? We have a criminal government in power over us. They have violated our Constitution. And this country has had to respond to the call of arms and gone out to the Bundy Ranch. We would have an American family massacred today. And we would be listening to the mainstream media spewing lies about how the government had to defend yourself and murder them. We need to drop the political correct bullshit and tell everybody that this is a war for our freedom. This is a revolution. But if we don't wake up and start calling the enemy by the name of who they truly are, we're going to lose. It's just that simple. Uh, I need to ask you this. Have you been on before this portion of the call? No, I haven't. I've been, I've been waiting uh, for, I don't know, I've been listening for about 20 minutes. So you, Maybe a little longer. 20 minutes and you're disappointed. I've been listening about 20, 30 minutes. I've been listening about 20, 30 minutes. I've heard you call people fans. I've heard you talk about radio shows. All right, bro. Well, uh, we've been on for four days, and you've been on for 20 minutes, and you're trying to call me out because you don't like the fact that we got a conference call that's got major players, major leaders all on the same page at the same time. Because you've done a lot of good here, so I'm sorry you're disappointed in the last 20 minutes. Um, you know, go do your thing, dude. You don't have to be here. I appreciate you chiming in, but uh, sorry that you're disappointed. I'm gonna move on to the next call. Five, six, four, zero. You're up. Hi, um, I was going to take a different approach, but I'm thinking that, don't you think that we're in such a crisis that it's time to not have 900 groups out there, to have just one group out there, and really show our faces, show our license plates, show our faces, because they're recording us anyway, don't you think? Hey, it is. Are we, I mean, without showing our hands, I think it's time that we should have one big group with admins maybe in every state to weed out the, the um, propaganda from the truth and take lists, lists of names of everybody that really wants to get involved, not bring their strollers with them, but get involved in what they can get involved with and separate, the, separate those people into different categories and have different shifts like that are in the geographical situation. Um, area as Mr. Bundy, have them go in shifts, okay, because I realize people have to work, but could, we could coordinate shifts. And then there's an incident and then Texas, we could coordinate shifts and so on and so forth and deal with each issue that we have to deal with as one big group. Because I've actually been on Facebook, which is a joke, and that's where everybody's going. And, you know, you'll send out information and people will be like, no, I just want to send out information. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> Everybody is taking this like a joke. That's, it's a pretty broad statement. Everybody, meaning over 300 and some odd million people across the country, including whoever else is watching. A uh, well, yeah, good number of them, yes. I mean, who the hell would think to take a, a stroller to that situation over there? Think about it. It's no, time I to get serious with that. people in categories. What are you going to do? What are you, how seriously are you taking it? And stop having 900 groups feeding information to each other. It's in panic and everybody. And nobody, <coughs> and the rest of the world isn't taking it seriously. Because they think it's all, they think that everybody's just playing around on the computer. It's time that we need to take it seriously and bring everybody together in one group. And the fact that Mr. Bundy has probably contact, in contact with each and every one of them groups, now it's the time to start telling everybody it's time to shit or get off the plot. You know, to a degree, I, I agree, man, but uh, there's a lot of paranoid people out there, you know, that want to pen everybody up in the same area. We already know that, you know, 
obviously the eyes are out there and like uh, everybody's being monitored to some degree. And I'm, I'm definitely on a few lists just for doing something as simple as putting up together. I, you can put it up. It's time that we let, let them put us on the list. I'm already on so I don't care anymore. You know, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, do uh, you know, and now I'll be better. That's great. Go right ahead, please. By all means, I'm not saying do better. I'm just saying let's all get together. And right now, you have a great thing, a great idea going on because you're able to reach people. What I'm saying is, I think you should encourage everybody to not separate into groups like we're doing. And you're the one who can get the voice out there because you are the one with the radio show. And I'm not, I'm not trying, I think you're doing a great thing to be honest with you. But I think you should be encouraging people. Let's, let's, I think you should hire admins for each state or each county or however you feel that should go and say, okay, we shouldn't have the three percenters and the overpassers. And, you know, everybody is just so off into, it's almost like they're exploiting the situation. And we would organize a whole lot better if we were together. You're right. You know, keep chimed in. Hopefully, develops into something like that. Ma'am, I've got 12 people in the queue. Do you want to wrap that up? I'll give you another 30 seconds if you don't mind. Okay. I really appreciate this. Um, I'm not, you know, mad at you, not or anything like that. You know, we're all kind of pumped up right now. I want to know exactly what's going on. So I just need to move on. Keep the guy. Not either. I mean, I think you're. I think you can set the catapult off to get us all together. Then. I, I like how you think, and hopefully that's what this becomes. I mean, you know, I was put here for a reason, and I'm just trying to do it when I die, you know, it seems to be the right place at the right time. And, I'm not, uh, I, I apologize if I sounded otherwise, but I do think you're doing a great thing. I just think that you should get us all together, because you're the one that's got the voice right now. I might just be that guy. I'm going to lay it on your shoulders. <laughs> we'll see. Bring I'm going to do together. my thing. Back to the 90 yeah. group. Bring us together. We'll see what this turns into. 2014, you know, might might bring it right back to the people's court. Um, yeah. and the next caller. Uh, 3813, huh? 3813, go ahead. 3813, this isn't your conscience speaking. You are on a conference call. There you are. Go ahead. I don't know how to fix my conference. Right on. Hey, you're coming in kind of soft. You're at about a two uh, or three out of ten. If you want to come back to a seven. Yeah, no, I can't out. understand it at all. <laughs> oh, there we go. Awesome. <coughs> all right. Um. What I was saying was, uh, I was been, I've been on since 11 a.m. Uh, Arizona time. Uh, I was using a call sign November 2-8 uh, for those of you that are still tuned in. Um, in respect to everyone, uh, I think that when you were not on moderating, um, everyone uh, held their respect to ground in terms of letting everyone speak. Uh, as far as I go, I'm sure comms can uh, verify that if and whenever he gets back on. Um, awesome. But, you know, like I said, um, I, I tuned in yesterday, too. I accidentally called you Chris. I don't know why I did that. I'm sure you're right. Oh, you're that. that guy. No, I'm just I was, cool. Yeah. I was that guy. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm basically, at this point, you know, I'm not taking anything as, you know, uh, the word of mouth. And I advise, you know, a lot of other people just take it with a grain of salt. You know, if you're not there, you don't know the situation. You know, you can only speculate, but take everything that's coming through as a grain of salt. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm I'm personally going to try my hardest uh, to get out there on Friday, um, and I would like to try to, like you said, with the Morse code bit, just send it directly to you. Um, you know, because we don't want a whole bunch of you know media deal going on uh, as far as you know right and wrong or what's accurate and what's not. So, exactly. with that said, I'm trying. I'm going to try my hardest on uh, Friday. I know that's a whole world away. Um, right. But you know, I'm going to try my hardest to get out there. Uh, you know, take whatever pictures I can. Uh, get however close I can that's safe. Um, and possibly some video recording. Um, and then just report from there. And if I could, I would try to uh, go ahead and give you a call in when if I have a signal out there. Uh, sure. But. That's that's as far as my perspective and my opinion goes. You know, like I said, take it for a grain of salt. But I appreciate everyone that's uh, coming in. And I appreciate you, sir. 
Thank you, thank you very much, man. It's cool to get that from another brother. Uh, since you're heading out there, it's going to be delayed. What I recommend, <laughs> in between now and then, you know, try to keep up on top of the intel. We really want to keep talking to people that are boots on the ground. <clears throat> if they say don't go, if they, you know, we need to know that kind of thing before we send you into a rough situation. <laughs> what seems to be a cool situation right now, um, definitely report to chain of command. Definitely don't come in hot and heavy. Remember, you're a peaceful protester. If you show up, if you just happen to have defensive weapons that are broken down properly, according to the state of Nevada, you should be cool with it. Yes, sir. And also, um, you know, I, I added in, uh, I was on the line last night from about 10 o'clock at night to uh, about 4.30 a.m. Arizona time. And uh, everything that was said uh, through your end, you know, I, I, I uh, did my best to pass along, uh, like you just said, with the, uh, you know, coming as a peaceful uh, protester uh, in the same aspect, school for quote. Uh, so, you know, definitely exciting, uh, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for chiming in, man. It means a lot. Uh, stay, stay tuned with us, and then uh, that means from Friday. Before you actually uh, get out there, please try to catch us before you're in the inner circle, and that way we know you're heading in there, so if we don't hear feedback from you, you know, within an hour or so, then you know, we know it might be a potentially weird situation. That way, you know, we have that kind of communication with people heading there. Uh, we can better grasp what exactly is going on, you know, from the people that are there. And definitely yes, make sure they're getting a hold of the chain of command if you're going. Try to find one of those microphones like we've been mentioning. Um, sounds like they could use some radios as well. Uh, night vision goggles, food, water, all the basics, I'm sure you're aware. Yes, sir. Um, and just might I add, it's going to take about eight hours to get there. I may be on the call the whole time, um, just moderating what's going on uh, as far as just listening in, um, as well as uh, I, I will report back uh, to confirm uh, that I did uh, or is on the road. I'm sorry, am okay. on the road. Um, or if uh, other life events that come up. So I will definitely report back with uh, confirmation on that. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. You know, it doesn't hurt to know, you know, firsthand that it's, it's killing me as much as I'm hearing everything, but I'm just taking it with a grain of salt. I want to see it with my own two eyes. We really appreciate that. So make sure, you know, there's not a lot of, a lot of conjecture in what you are stating when you get there is, uh, you know, confirmable stuff. Time stamps by video, things like that really help, okay? Yes, sir. And I'll also try to uh, create contact with uh, any uh, command officials or any other protesters that are there to verify that I was, in fact, there. Um, I can also uh, send you personal pictures of myself, so it's not dodging. Um, please don't send me any personal pictures of yourself, um, but definitely not send me that. any sort <laughs> But definitely send me some comments from what's going on without being, uh, you know, too uh, too uh, obvious. On you know, we don't want license plate pro, um, at least not uh, you know the good guys. If you got things like that on the others, that helps. But uh, you know, just, let's just try to keep some things on the down low where they need to be. All right, and time in uh, again before you get in, and then we need to get in so we know what's up. Yes, sir. I appreciate everyone's uh, privacy, and I will uh, do that in fact. Thanks, bro. Uh, we're going for a wireless caller, 5915, you're in the queue, and thank you for being patient. There's uh, about eight people still in the queue. We're still at over 100 callers. Yeah, it's all gone. What's that? All gone before you designated me the other night. Oh, hey, what's going on, man? Not a whole lot. I just want to say that uh, thanks to everybody that went out there and supported these people. By the time we showed a little room, we it's coming down to us against them. The mainstream media is not helping and you're doing what needs to be done. Appreciate it. Have a good night, brother. Uh, awesome. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, how many hours have you just called? Oh, well, let's see. Well, it was a good work yesterday. The other night before and tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we appreciate you sitting tight, man, and, uh, you know, keep chiming in if you've got anything else. Anybody else wants to get in the queue? Uh, we're in the room about a dozen people waiting, so I'm going to move on to the page left. Uh, 1929, and you want to chime in? Hey, how's it going? Uh, Kyle from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, hey, what's up, man? He's doing a, doing a great job here. Um, I don't even know if he's still uh, listening, but the guy from uh, the Northeast, um, I was trying to look to uh, get in contact with him. Um, I don't know if he has Facebook or not, but if he can contact me at uh, Kyle Sharkey 
uh, Lifeford, L-I-F-O-R-D. Um, I'd like to get in contact with him and see if uh, I can help out or be a part of whatever he's got going on up in the Northeast because I'm uh, having uh, trouble, you know, finding something up there. Um, so that trick that called him, you know, listened to that 20 minutes and then gave his opinion that, uh, you know, it's... You have no idea what's going on right now, man. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on in your gym shit. Come on, man. Yeah, absolutely. 20 minutes. I mean, last night I was on from 11 to 6.30 in the morning, and then today, I'm, <laughs> you know, I've been listening since uh, 11 to now. But, um, yeah, man, hopefully that guy's still listening, and keep it up. Um, you know, you're doing a great job. Appreciate it. I can't take Alex Jones for more than a half an hour, so if you're chiming in for 7.89 at a time plus, other people got 36 <laughs> hours involved in this. You know, that's saying something. So one guy that's listened for 20 minutes that's disappointed with the call, I, I apologize to you. Hey, since you're from Boston, before you go, I, I, I love people from the East Coast. you got an awesome accent. Can you tell me something real quick? Can you tell me that you want to walk the dog to go park the car? <laughs> walk the dog and go park the car, or you can park the car in the Harvard Yard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I appreciate it, man. Keep going what you're doing, man. Thanks, bro. Keep up the good work. I'm going to remember you, man. Call back in and say that, and I'll know exactly who this is. I appreciate it. I will, man. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Taking in another uh, wireless caller. Should be chiming in with the 5765 again, I think. You called earlier, didn't you? Hello? Yep. Hey, uh, I'll let you know, man. You're doing good. I've been listening for a lot more than 20 minutes to tell you that. Uh, <laughs> Anyone who thinks this is over and is leaving the scene, they shouldn't be leaving. It's not over. They're going to come back for more. Um, they're just leaving this family without much backup. I think what you're doing, you're trying to get people out there that's good because they need all they can get. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're just trying to coordinate the effort, you know, do the best we can to kind of get everybody on the same page and make sure people are heading there, doing the right thing, people that are there are cool, you know, letting people that are offering help offer help, you know, and uh, trying to coordinate a bunch of different efforts. Um, it's 1 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if anybody's listening to the uh, rebroadcast on YouTube, um, Chicago One's about to chime in and give us uh, any updates he's got. But definitely <coughs> use the dial-in number, 726-1300, uh, area code 559, and then use participant code 276125 if uh, you want to chime in. Uh, we don't even have this syndicated, segmented, no commercials live feedback from live people boots on the ground and a whole bunch of concerned patriots coming in from all over. Um, if you want to chime in, I got that comes uh, Chicago one is actually about to step in the call. Um, I really appreciate your comments though man. It gives me, you know, with every five patriots that they beat I'm I'm glued. Um, I want to help, you know, I, I want to hear more. We've got to keep this going. That means a lot to me, man, and uh, hopefully the other media guys that have been bugging me, no offense you're not really bugging me, but you know, that have been trying to drift my uh, Change, so to speak, uh, can hear that. Um, we might turn this into something, uh, you know, hopefully that uh, we can reach out to a broader scale and use this for other events. Absolutely, yeah. <coughs> They're just trying to get you off the right path. That's what I'm watching for, man. People got some offers in the air I'm looking at and tempting, but hey, man, if you, if you can't say I have full control, stay okay, lobby, I'm moving on to the next thing. Because uh, I'm not going to sell out and. Uh, you even try to edit any of this stuff. You got another thing coming out. I'm handling it just fine. You know, you, you want to support it. You want to uh, rebroadcast it. You know, it'd be nicer to have nicer equipment and things like that to be functional. A couple extra lines, a secretary, a researcher, stuff like that. But I'm doing that all right now with two hands and one mouth. So, um, you know, thanks for, for the offer. But uh, and I do appreciate you again, man. You know, coming in and uh, you know, giving me some motivation to do the right thing and get that started someday. But uh. Between right now, there's, I got to take a step back when I get a chance and uh, you know look at all, all things that are headed my way right now. No problem, man. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Chime in again, okay? <coughs> Thanks. Um, just so you know, a Chicago one, you're next in line right after this call, 6466. How you been, Barb? I'm good. I have two comments and a question for you. Well, for the sure. guy. So the guy who only listened for 20 minutes, I got four days invested in this from beginning to end, even when Brian is not there moderating the calls. And you are severely wrong, sir. And to the lady who spoke after that, the reason why there are so many groups is because men feel their balls have to be bigger than everybody else's, and they can't work together, and they have to have their own group to keep going 
women that other women have had these own groups, and that's why there's so many different groups. Too many chiefs among those Indians. Now, as for my question, there's another rumor going around I need squelched. Um, official words directly from both Gavin Stein and Matthew Shea. Everything is calm. Matthew Shea said there will be a press conference tomorrow at 1 p.m. Anybody can please verify whether or not there's going to be a press conference? I'd like to know. Thank you. That's all. I love the first comment. Uh, <coughs> thank you. And second comment, um, you know, as, as far as what she chimed in, I appreciate that comment as well. As far as the question, I'd like to get it back on. I don't have uh, a lot of answers right now. Um, and as far as your third question, could you actually repeat that question and uh, be more poignant so I understand what you're asking exactly? Uh, I just want to see if anybody has confirmation on press conference tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, keep a word out for that. Um, if somebody from Com wants to start up a conference or has started one and is trying to get uh, involved in that, do you know if that's also at the flagpoles like the yesterday morning meeting? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't say. I'm going okay. around pushing rumors all over the place. Cool. Is, is that, there's a chance of that. Most likely, if anything, we did talk to uh, next in command. We talked to uh, some of the security guys inside the house that are bodyguarding right now, and uh, they said everything seems cool. Um, it has died down. A lot of people have left. A lot are showing up. They just lost a little bit as far as the uh, line of communication as they resettle as new people come in. Uh, we're still recommending that you know people feel free to show up, but just come to. For the love of God, you know, I don't want to be Alex Jones, but Jesus, you know, come in there, peaceful protesters, un go come in, you know, full battle rattle, you're probably going to get harassed if you do. You may now ask your question. I've got uh, 773 Chicago, and what's up here? Yeah, man, this is this is Alex Jones coming in from Chicago, Illinois. we got some goats that the Druids have given us. Uh, we're sacrificing them right now, and, yeah, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyway... Um, I, you know, I've, I've been listening for a bit here. I've been streaming since about 12. I slept all day. Damn, that was needed. Um, I, I would like to um, do my best to add some sanity to a, to a rather um, insane situation, if I may. Um, apologies Actually, for me. I, I'm happy for you to do that. Um, for some reason, you're cutting in and out, man. Can you get your, like, a secure signal somewhere? It sounds like uh, you, I, McDonald's. Um, that's strange. There's really, really nothing I could, I could do about that. I'm just using the same hardware I've, you know, been using. Um, the only thing I, 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 the only thing I could try to do is uh, sign out of Skype, re-sign in, you know, reconnect, and see if that's a more. No, you're doing good right now. Go ahead, move forward. You're doing good now. Whatever uh, was broken seems to have been fixed. Go ahead. All right. Cool. Anyway, um, I'd like to to do my best to add some some sanity to a rather insane um, situation and all, all the different perspectives that have been put on the table. Um, I want to try to, um, to, to integrate all of those um, cohesively and acknowledge all of them as, as being differing but equally valid. Um, I obviously am not looking to disrespect anyone's right to you know feel how they feel and think what they think and and express it because you know if we if we disrespect that right then you know what's anybody fighting for I mean I feel that freedom is more the right of of people to say what you don't like and, and, and what you don't want to hear and what you don't approve of more than it is to say you know what you want to hear and what you want to approve of because if we're only saying what we want to hear and what we what we approve of then how are we any different you know from the globalists saying you know hey when when we want your opinion we'll give it to you right um, as far as the guy who like chimed in and he had only been listening for like 20, 30 minutes, um, people like that, I mean, I've known a lot of people with that sort of mentality and they have genuinely gone through a lot of shit probably their whole lives. So got to understand we see the world as we are, not as it is. Truth is colored by perspective, believing is seeing and not the other way around. And... When somebody has this, shall we say, um, Murphy's Law <laughs> view of life, um, it's impossible for them to see all of the good that, that has been going on with anything. Because uh, the, the, the negative stuff and the positive stuff all happen in equal measure. 
But when we insist in our own view of reality that, oh, the, the negative is all there is, I mean, who could talk us out, out of that sort of belief system? You know, like those, right. you know, uber-fundamentalist, you know, like uber-fundamentalist hateful Christians. I'm not talking about Christians in general. I'm just talking about the ones that really do deserve the tinfoil hat label, the ones that are screaming in people's faces, you know, telling perfectly good people that, you know, they're bastards if they don't see Christianity exactly the way these, they see it and that their way is the only way to view Christianity and they're up there screaming and being hateful while, while preaching love. Um, even people like that, um, they're viewing things from a particular perspective based on their experiences, indoctrination, growing up, so on and so forth. Um, the Bible says we were born into original sin. I think it's, it's better to say we were all born into the matrix. We're all perfect souls born into this Illuminati matrix. And, you know, we got to realize that this has had an effect on all of us. And this is like troubleshooting a computer. You know, if, if um, the error comes up on the screen and you're going to get all, all panicked and, and, and hot and bothered by it, you're, you know, you're not going to fix the machine. So with all the egos that are running high, ego wants to say, no, 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 I don't have the problem. I'm holy and righteous. Everybody else has the problem. they got to listen to me. Um, so that moves me on to the, to the, the lady that called about the whole groups thing. Um, you see, that's a, that's, a, that's a dichotomy division, too. We need, we need groups of people that are, that are sovereign as individuals because the individual and the group are equally important. They're, they're a symbiotic whole. Um, the problem is if, it doesn't matter if you have one group or a thousand um, if all of them have this divisionist ego attitude, then it's like it's like having a bunch of kindergartners trying to rebuild the World Trade Center. All you're going to get is a, bu a bunch of little kids hurt on power tools. Um, so really, what I would suggest is people, I'm you sorry, know, I just laughed at that. I probably shouldn't have laughed. That was hilarious. Oh no, it's uh, it's uh, you know I. Remember, I, I do uh, documentaries, paradigm shift, and educational comedy. Silly is the gateway to the serious. If you're not lighthearted, you know, hey, it's like if you want to be enlightened, just lighten up, right? If the brain's all constipated, how is, you know, data going to flow um, accurately and efficiently? And how are you going to keep a cool head if you're not lighthearted? So, you know, a bit of laughter is, is definitely exactly what's needed. And, you know, I got a guy out back here that's got ten goats just waiting. God bless the druids; they're everywhere. No, but but seriously though, um, <laughs> seriously though, it's like we're caught up in these dichotomies where we think our view of reality is the only view, and fuck everybody else. Everybody else is wrong. Well, look, people got to understand that. That's the attitude the globalists have. We we have been brought up with their mind. We have been brought up to be Nazis. We're all like people addicted to the to the drug of, of Nazism, okay? And the first step to recovery is, you know, being willing to admit that well not only well, actually Roseanne Barr said the first step to recovery is being being able to admit that everybody else has the problem. Which uh, to, well, I've got uh, a dozen people that are in there. I can give you some of the floor. I'm gonna keep you in the queue. Uh, I'm all right. kinda ask we could uh, kinda move on. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, mute, I'll I'll mute out. I I'm you know what in fact it's it's better if I pick up what I was saying later after I can get more more um, input from, from other people talking. So let me mute myself out here. Um, keep me on. I'll chime in later. But uh, this is a to-be-continued. It's cool. I'll leave the beacon open, uh, open for you, man, and I'm going to bring in everybody else. Muted. Um, go ahead. You should be on the call. I got muted again. Hey, uh, Ryan. <laughs> it's Tara. It's so funny, it was right after Dave. Hello, Dave. Um, I just want to say to the guy with 20 minutes, you're also like a lot of us that, it, you know, we see what's going on and we do perceive it different, and I did learn that from Dave today. But a lot of things are going on, and you didn't listen long enough to get out. We've hung in here for hours and hours. Actually, I still didn't get to go to sleep yet. But if you listen to listen long enough, you will get, You'll be in the middle of the floor screaming, I'm glad to be an American again, because I felt like you did. And just listen on and try to do your part as far as that woman with the groups. I don't understand that. Everybody, get off of Brian. The only, the, he's the only voice in a major media-wide, country-wide 
tissue. And I don't see any other groups from the missions or people actually, whether they don't know how, I'm not saying they don't want to, but other people can do what you were saying. You know, it's, people need to get on fine. But he's put in a lot of hours, a lot of heart. He's had to put up with people like me that'll t holler at him in the middle of the day because somebody actually stays a YouTube video. People that would actually do that to get shit started or shit, because I was scared to death today. And, and I have actually had things, I don't know if I said something I shouldn't have said or posted something I shouldn't have posted. But after, you know, this little bit, I'm going to kind of calm down on stuff and just sit back and I'm there when I need it. But all the rumors and all the things that he's had to deal with, y'all have no idea that this man is God sent, that, you know, it's, this situation has woken up a lot of people. And I'm sorry about that today, Brian. It was for, because, I mean, that's that, that during the day we don't have the call. Because this is the only voice, this is the only uh, intel on what's really happening. And you got people on Facebook saying that it was a peaceful night when we woke up to the snipers out there again. Well, everybody's like, oh, no, where's Brian? All right? I, too, need to get off of this line, and I apologize for that. This was not organized enough because they come out of nowhere, and nobody was ready. But you stepped up, Brian, and, and you know, again, I'm still really appreciative <coughs> that a lot of people, you know, that are passionate like that man, just stick around, listen learn from this, keep praying, and, and it's all going to be all right. But that was some shady shit that happened to me today, too, Brian, by the way. The reason I'm standing down, some shady shit with my phone, my Facebook. Uh, there was reasons I was freaking out. But those rumors and all the shit that I have, now that I've got back on there and saw I turned my face off and everything. But it's a lot of shit adding to a situation. And that whole gung-ho, why isn't anybody doing anything? I'm discouraged. I'm not impressed because nobody's running in there and fucking everything up. If it was anything but peaceful, people would wind up dying. That's why people aren't going in there going, oh, Brian's been for, like I said the other day, uh, you know, we need more of Brian because he points <coughs> out it every time. If you had a dollar for every time you had to give the go in there peacefully, make sure you get with people that know what they're doing, you know, there's only one way to do this, and that's the right way through peaceful protests and people just showing up saying, hey, we're Americans and as of right now, we still have a constitution. And, you know, I just feel like, I feel like this is just a, a training thing for people. I mean, I know it's happening. I really don't think that it, it's going to get crazy because they're learning from this. They're learning on how we all react. To, you know, it's, just, it's a learning thing as well as a uh, beginning to a lot of crap. But again, I'm okay. sorry about that today, Brian, and I still appreciate uh, you, and I need to go to bed so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give it another, like, 40 minutes or so, and I'm probably going to get to hear myself, but uh, I'm going to jump on to uh, the next caller. I really appreciate you chiming in again. You stay tuned with me. You're a really cool person, and I'm glad you're getting a kick out of this. You put in pretty much at least, what, 20-some-odd hours combined into this? Oh, yeah, and you know when he said that you brought that up, you know, his, his 20 minutes was one of the points that you brought some humor in it, just like Dave was just saying, you know, you go through hours and hours of this, and you make a joke. We all need that laugh. I needed that first time you done Anonymous and scared the shit out of me because I'm an avid Anonymous fan. I needed that. You know, it, it was good. You'd have to laugh. And, you know, he just heard the wrong 20 minutes and totally... Live it all out. Probably got in his car and they were like crazy instead of just. Well, people need to realize why this is kind of going viral and why this is just. It is what it is. I mean, it, it, it is what we make it. I let somebody come in and speak, and, uh, and I'm not trying to put in a little bit, you know, or too much feedback to where I sway anybody's opinion. I'm just trying to go with you know, logic and what seems right. If anybody wants to call me out on, hey, I made a wrong decision there, you know, I call people out. No, don't bring children, man. Yeah, come as peaceful citizens. Uh, you know bring munitions, that, that's the law, you can open carry there as long as you're legal, there's no problem, you know, but, uh, you have, yeah, you have a lot of things. scared, misinformed, um, you know, you, you've dealt with so many personalities, so many circumstances, so much calm, so much intel, so much fake, crazy intel, they just, uh, they have no idea what you've been through unless they wrote it out, you know, and, 
You're awesome. I really appreciate you. And good night, Dave. I appreciate you too, my friend. And God bless. Awesome. Yeah, let me to Chicago. Look me up, right? Alright, cool. Uh, next person, you're up here. Yeah, remember this number, 5673. Tom's, what's up? Yeah, hey, uh, uh, this is uh, South Louisiana 14. Uh, Brian, uh, yeah. I don't know this one thing, but uh, this is a video that I came across. Uh, it's from Steve Quell. I sent it to Tom 1. Look at it to verify so that you can look at it. Uh, apparently, there was a lady that, that uh, told you that her and her brother seen some black vehicles headed toward the site. The city uh, is pretty much telling us what it is. It's signed it's into the American Spring uh, on the 16th. It's Tuesday. Uh, they show the, uh, I've seen another video that where they show the paddy wagon coming into the ranch. And then leaving. Uh, that's for the staging. But they're planning on locking down Washington, D.C. to capture who they can there. It's going to be a bloodbath. It's preparing for it. And uh, they're, going to, they're, they're, they're going to attack uh, the Monday Ranch again. Now, of course, that's why I sent you the video. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to send out any disinformation. I'm just giving you what I, I, I came across that I thought was important that we needed to know. I could try to play it here for y'all to listen to, or unless you have a place you can post it and let them go to and listen to. It's a 10 minute and 50, uh, 10, 10 minutes and 50 second video. And, uh, and if it wasn't that important, I wouldn't be calling them out of it. I understand. Do this for you, man. Uh, a, I need to know the source of the video before you play it. And B, yes. And you do play it while you're figuring out who the source is. I'd like you to watch it again and sit, stop it where you think there's an actually important part that directly relates towards all this uh, as much as you can, so we can get a shortened version of 10 minutes. Um, while you're doing that, I'm going to the person in on the line, and if you can get it to a stopping point where we can kind of make it short and sweet and get the overall gist of that after you confirm the source. This is from Freedom Fighters 21 2017, and they took it off of SteveQuail.com. And I do, All right. I do trust Steve Quail because I do follow a lot of what he does because he's spot on. Uh, and that's why I'm sharing this, and I sent it to Com 1. Uh, I gave you the, the quick gist of it, but this is 50 vehicles. Uh, that is DHS. That is in the area. But uh, the Bundy deal. It is a uh, kind of a, a short stop to what's happening in Washington, but they do plan to uh, to slow up the compound. Yeah, we don't have that confirmed right now, but uh, we'll go ahead and let you verify that footage again real quick. If we miss something hard before you say something like that, because again, we just talked to uh, security inside the house, security outside the house. Um, we okay. really said everything was pretty cool then. Yes, sir, I and I want to make sure we don't start raising the panic level anytime soon, unless it's uh, confirmed stuff. You can turn your video to these guys, you know, in their bedroom saying one thing. Who knows who they are? And I need you to right. double check. I'll take it to Com One to verify, check it out as well. I mean, I'm just sending it to you because I feel the same way. I don't want to cause any panic or anything unnecessarily. And at the same time, I, I thought this was uh, good enough stuff to send to you. Other than that, I'm a trash. Johnny, I, um, Tom's just got a Tom took a nap, so if, uh, if when he comes back, I'm searching his back. If he's anything like me, I, I, I find that I still work, you know, and, and get everything together. So he's probably still doing something with that right now, but, uh, I can't hang up this phone call uh, without dropping. And I uh, got plenty of data inside my phone that's trying to get at me. Literally, last time I hung up the call, I had to stay off for about five minutes while my uh, phone had a connection fit. And, uh, you know, it literally looked like an epileptic hot dog flipping on the freaking floor. But, uh, yeah, I mean, every tone from everywhere came in. I got text probably 40 waiting for me as well as Facebook as well as emails. And they all got to chime in. So I'm really not excited to hang up my phone and watch that connection fit, but I'm going to move on to the next caller, man. I appreciate your input. Comes one is watching that right now. 
Um, and uh, I'm going to move on. We've got a caller, uh, 9519. It's Southeast Texas again. Hey, Texas, keep it quick. I got uh, four people calling, but go ahead. What you got, bro? Uh, no problem. Uh, first and foremost, I just wanted to tell you, man, you're doing a good job. I don't care what a uh, 20 minute guy had to say about you. It, you're doing a damn good job, and yes, I, I think you could take your uh, your show if you wanted to. Um, I'll tell you first and foremost, I'm a just to kind of go on the lines of everyone else here. I'm a I'm a family guy down down here, and uh, uh, it's me, my wife, and and uh, three of our kids. We're all avid patriots, and uh, seeing this and and uh, uh, the stuff that's going on here in Texas and, and whatnot, it, it, it's got us all scared. Uh, the government is hugely, hugely overstepping their bounds. Uh, you know, I, I, I give my time locally. I'm a firefighter uh, as well as uh, I, I have a professional uh, profession as well uh, on top of being a firefighter for my community. Um, it's, it's, very, it's a very scary scenario, and... and um, unfortunately, there are those people that, that tend to to be all business, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad you can bring a little bit of humor to it, uh, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And that's that's uh, phenomenal. And going back to the the young lady that was on the line that was talking about the multiple groups uh, that are there, as she said, 900 groups. Um, the militia body that was created in this country was created to be autonomous that way to to uh, to say if you if you were to cut the head off the snake so to say um, you 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 wouldn't exactly be doing that you you still have multiple groups that can operate on their own there's a reason that these groups are autonomous uh, and and in a situation like this, yes, it would be fantastic if they could pull together and work and find that one chief or the two chiefs that could that could run the whole situation. But again, going back to what she said, the the, the militia unit in this country was founded on that uh, being that they they need to be autonomous. Um, also, I think this this whole situation has become a breaking point for the citizens of this country. It's opening up a lot of eyes. Uh, a lot of people that just they, they kind of said, you know, this is government, this is government, this is government. And in two years, when we boot the man out of office, it's all going to change. Not necessarily. He's already set a wheel in motion that's going to take years and years to stop. So it's, uh, that's another thing we've got to look at. It, it, that's basically what it is. It's a waking up. Uh, Beyond that, I, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I just wanted to get that out. Uh, the, the the gentleman that had been listening for 20 minutes, I, I really feel sorry for him. I really, really do. Uh, I've been listening to this broadcast for over five hours now, and you have provided an enormous amount of information. Unfortunately, I didn't get to hear about the, uh, the conference call until tonight. Uh, and, I, again, I do have... A uh, completely separate uh, job from uh, uh, being a firefighter and, and an avid patriot, and I don't get to monitor uh, everything that's going on. Um, but I, again, I wanted to thank you for doing what you're doing because it seems that in all of the sources that I've looked at, whether it's Facebook, uh, secondhand media, whatever the case may be, you are probably the one and only source that we can get decent information out of. And I wanted to say thank you for that. Thank you for chiming in. It's just great. I appreciate you. Um, keep chiming in. I'm glad you're listening. How many hours did you get so far? Uh, I'm looking at just out of five. Right. So, you know, keep letting other EMT guys know hey, in a certain situation, if the phones are still running and the software is still up, we're going to do our best to make sure we're ready here. Operation American Springs around the corner, man. And, uh, you guys have to follow at the right place at the right time. We're going to start with a conference call with uh, myself and uh, one of the Illinois Sons of Liberty commanders from Illinois, obviously. Um, and, uh, you know, we should bring another group here to kind of get everybody in the same case. So let's help with that time one right now. So we raise our
other level all the way up or what? And you don't know, wow, maybe someone who has signed in and said, Hey, we want to know what's up, we're going, you know, what do you need us to do? We need to write the files and everybody came in kinda of, I don't want to say undercover, they just came in not wearing the militia hat, so to speak. And uh, right. it was, uh you know, peaceful uh uh that are trying to you know, help protest for for a good cause. And if they happen to have legal arms with them, um, you know, so be it. As long as they're legal and they've got the right permits and registration for those items, they're not going out of caliber. And there's nothing locked, uh, locked and loaded, you know, in the vehicle. I uh, think you should be okay. Uh, I, you definitely look up the legalities uh, on the local area uh, of the state and uh, again points from uh, the But uh, you want to wrap that up? But I got six people. To I would love you to. Uh, just, just to 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 wrap it up real quick. Uh, the militia groups in this country have, have developed a really bad name, uh, you know, unfortunately to some bad incidents that have happened. Uh, a good majority of the groups in this country, or a good majority of the militia groups in this country, are nothing but good-hearted people. They're there to help enforce the Constitution. Please, 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 people, do not think negatively of these people. And, you know, uh, you know the the old saying, "One bad apple can ruin the whole bunch." That that definitely applies to this situation. Uh, militiamen are those people that truly, truly care about this country. Please, please support them in any way you possibly can. Uh, and on top of that, Brian, um, if I could possibly get uh, your Facebook or, or whatever the case may be, so I can track this a little bit better. Uh, while I'm not able to be on the conference call. Absolutely. I'm easy to follow. There's two things. There's a uh, community conference call. There's a group that they just put together. A friend of mine did uh, recently. It's a community conference call. There's a group on Facebook. You can look up to get at least updates coming from here. For now, that's kind of what we're calling it because that's where it is. Um, you know, from there, when it turns into something else, it might be changed until further notice, but our Windows Tender and development. Um, right now, I would recommend looking up that, as well as my name is uh, Brian with a Y, B R Y A N, then a space, and then although it's free to people, I've been using that as my mantra for quite some time. It means a lot to me, and uh, that's the best way to find right, me on Facebook. Can I get you to repeat your, your, your second information real quick? Yeah, free to people, all one word, like. Uh, F R E E T A G P E O P L E, all one word, and uh, I should pop right up. But you'll see a whole of the last name. Okay, and and uh, that that you're attached to that. <coughs> I'm sorry. I said, uh, and you're attached to that. Yeah, that's my personal profile on Facebook. I'm uh, able to follow there, and then uh, I'll, I'll get to it. I'm, I've been deleting some people that have been chiming in over the course of the last few years, and. Uh, Taking on a whole bunch of new uh, honorable patriots and a uh, variety of different backgrounds from all over the country that you know that have shown some support. So, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, Brian, you're doing a great job. I'll, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you continue on. Awesome job tonight. Thank you. Thanks, bro. And you know, once I get to kind of through all this new stuff coming in from Facebook, I'll definitely uh, add you, man. I'll, I'll be watching for you. Okay. Fantastic, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, 9509. Come on back anytime. All right, next uh, call was 1525. What's up with you? How's it going tonight? I'm uh, starting to get a little tired. i got to get ready for work. i to get ready to go to sleep so then I can go to work. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go for another, like, probably 30 minutes or so and shut her down, and it'll be a free, open, chaotic, uh, open conference call, and good luck mediating that without me. <laughs> I'm glad I got it now. Uh, this is Venom. I'm calling in from Las Vegas. Three percenter. He's just in tire. Uh, uh, kind of guys I'm looking for, man. Are you back from ground zero or what? I uh, just had boots come back from ground zero. Uh, everything seems fine. They, the militiamen are requesting more men out there. Um, they do have high grounds covered. Um, I'm heading out early AM 0600. Should be the ranch by 0700. And I can go back with updates if you would like. Exactly what we're looking for, man. A lot of people have said that and asked that and said they would do that. What I'm asking for, when do you think you'll be there? Do you think you'll be there by 8 uh, p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time later today? Uh, I, will, I will be there by 0700 tomorrow morning, uh, Monday morning. Ah, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be there real soon. That's right. Um, 
Shoot, I won't be able to communicate. Yeah, I won't be able to communicate uh, directly at that point. Uh, the best I can do is keep trying to chime in, most likely before, but I'm counting on uh, 8 p.m. Central um, later today. Sure. I just want to make um, people aware, in the state of Nevada, you are allowed to carry a firearm as well as a rifle right. in your vehicle. Um, I wouldn't suggest showing up in military fatigues with your face painted like an idiot, but get out there and go prepared. No need to go home and try to get your shit if it does go down. Would you say that'd be advisory just to at least keep it in the trunk so you don't get harassed for heavy more than what's going on about? Absolutely. I wouldn't go running around with the rifle over your shoulder, but make sure you're ready with it. I'm going to be going and open carrying, obviously. But, uh, and, uh, and a lot of us are. We're setting up at the three man team. Uh, in the morning, and then another shift will release uh, relieve us Tuesday morning. Uh, we have guys going up there to cover security duty all week. All right, perfect. You're the guys that are going to be for you on the afternoon state you came from. You know what happened to you. I I am in Las Vegas. Are you, are you from Vegas though? I mean, I am a resident of Arizona, but uh, living in Vegas. Now. All right, Tim. Or just remember, chain of command is when you get there. Anybody out there, you know, puffing their chest is not going to get uh, accommodated right now. We need them to approach their chain of command peacefully and ask them what needs to be done. That needs to be people falling in line if they're going to be showing up there if they're not in contact. Uh, absolutely. Everybody needs to follow suit. I mean, if, if there's one idiot acting out like a jackass, obviously it's going to create conflict. The Bunny family's already, already requested people that everybody follow suit. If everybody's being calm, then everyone needs to stay calm. That one guy that usually ruins everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call in. Um, you said at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, right? 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I should be here probably prior to that, but I'll be officially and recording and uh, doing hopefully doing broadcast again. Uh, okay, I'll give you a last few days. I'll give you a last update. on the ground. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, there's some awkward silence. Right, said, no, oh, there he is. Information. All right, uh, wireless call at 9978. I think I heard. Yeah, um, yeah, I've been listening for the last couple of days on and off. Um, what's going on right now? I know that somebody from the Bundy place was supposed to call in earlier, but I missed it. And uh, I was just seeing what's developed over like the last evening since six o'clock sure, or so. Uh, absolutely, chime in right now. Um, basically. Uh, Bailey, uh, which is the rancher's daughter, uh, I had spoken with prior to uh, 8 o'clock uh, Central PM uh, yesterday night. Um, we actually ended up coming on at 6 just to kind of clear everybody in. So I talked to her approximately 6, uh, just before 6 Central. Um, she did say everybody's cool and they're calm. You know, she was running some errands. She needed some things. That are, uh, the baby's actually uh, apparently sick and uh, it, it, she'll be fine, but she, she's a little sick and she's looking after her daughter. So we had. Uh, a couple of the guys, first and second in command, that chimed in. Uh, the last bodyguard chimed in yesterday morning. Um, he's been relieved of duty, but he's uh, apparently going back. He just needed to recoup and he'd gather some things and get some things, you know, put together. Um, okay. But everybody heard, seems cool. Yeah, there was some conjecture that they were going back, and you'll be hearing a lot of that. We just recommend come here, man, because we are getting live feedback. Uh, we've got people. Uh, I'm going to recommend again if anybody's got scan radio on a second. Uh, on the second cell phone, you can grab that and then go down to uh, Phoenix, Nevada via, uh, you know, Nevada, then you can find the Phoenix region. Um, I'm sorry, not the Phoenix region. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, I'm not super positive, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, Clark County, uh, and, and uh, we're looking for Mesquite, local fire and EMT had it uh, going on for a while, so that's, that's what we're recommending at this time. Uh, they were checking a lot of out-of-state plates and things of that nature, so... Uh, also, when you get back, if you don't mind, um, make sure everybody knows to kind of cover their plates. A lot of people are uh, sending out live feedback that uh, they're complaining to the intel, and you know, you could uh, you know punch your brother in the face, throw him on the ground, take a picture, and say, uh, you know, right, yeah, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're you know, oh shit, everybody's gonna freak out again. So we're trying to avoid a lot of that, and uh, definitely cut it out with the license plate uh, pictures when, when people are down there. Right. 
that's it. That's all I do. I was just curious. Uh, keep on, keep going, and thanks for being a fan. Hey, would you listen to this again if this happened uh, again? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is uh, really useful for what's going on. I mean, some of it's a little bit overdone, but I mean, as far as passing information on, it's definitely a good way to do it. You know, something is yeah, going when you say overdone, I'm just trying to accommodate. I'm trying to accommodate. When you say a little bit overdone, like uh, a lot of cool characters chime in and say what they had to say. Right. Well, no, I mean, just, just some of the longer rants. I mean... And it's not a big deal because it does turn into be kind of a radio show and it's a little bit entertaining. Um, just, I, I guess right now it doesn't really, there's not a lot going on. You know what I mean? Um, right. So I, I've been calling it just to get updates and listen to what's going on. And so, like, I'll come in and keep on my rant for this call. Um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's totally a good thing. And you do a good job. I mean, like I said, I've been listening off and on for I don't know, 48 hours or something. So. Yeah, I've had a good time listening, man. I mean, I appreciate it. You know, it makes it worth it. Uh, you know, all I got was paid for this with some Chinese food. So. <laughs> hey, man, it's better than nothing. It's got, you got a lot of fans now, too, apparently. Yeah, I, I think I do, and that's great. I want to, uh, to turn this into something I think uh, is working out well. So, uh, you know, I just you know, want to see what, what I can do to accommodate to make sure this goes smoothly. And I'll probably be jumping to the next caller, bro. So thanks for chiming in. Yep, thank you. We good, bro. Hey, uh, five three one four. Sorry for the hold. Uh, what can I do for you? That's okay. I'm not coming through. I'm expecting your uh, audio. You are protecting the window right now. You're in the green zone. And you're good. I just got a couple of questions, and I'll let you get some sleep. Uh, uh, I saw a video on uh, YouTube, um, and it's uh, only got 300 views. It's titled "More Agents and Equipment Arriving at the Bundy Ranch." Uh, it's not over, and uh, in the video they're pulling in with uh, what they call in a command center and uh, a bus that looks like a prison bus. Um, have you heard anything on this? How much validity is there in there? Are you looking at it right now? I am. It's titled uh, on YouTube. The, it's titled more agents. Uh, so that's all the uh, uh, validity that we've got right now, bro. I mean, what do you think? Are you looking at, do you see a source? Can you see it's verifiable? Uh, is it daytime or nighttime in the video? It's daytime. All right, so we've had updates directly from the range and everybody else uh, since it's been dark. So if we've seen all that before while it's still light in the video, most likely we've got footage from something else that may have occurred that we can make it look like that. You know, I could take a picture of a convoy going through uh, Chicago right now, if there happens to be some brush and some weeds in the background, I can make it look like, hey, maybe that's desert, and then put it up and say, oh, shit, there's a convoy headed there right now. And right, that's why, that's, why, that's why I'm calling. So, I'm seriously thinking about getting up there, and, um, you know, this is this is what's prompting me to, to, to really think seriously about going, uh, and so um, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm calling you. And, um, and that's what, what state are you in, sir? I'm in California. I'm in Northern California. Would you mind me asking, give or take, how many hours to get to uh, Ground Zero? It takes me about nine hours to get there, nine or ten hours. So I drive straight through. You know, we've got a lot of people that we've recommended, you know, if they're heading there again, you know, come as a piece with Cortex or Fatter, and with the Rangers are requested. Uh, if you happen to have, you know, backup, arms and ammo, et cetera, and the proper licenses and things to that, then you should be okay. Uh, we don't expect anyone to go in there hot and heavy, causing a rocket to check up with the chain of command. But uh, if you're only eight hours away, you know, you've got more advantage than I do from this standpoint. You know, if people are heading there, I'm not going to tell you to go or not go. That's your, your girl, man. You know, but I'm oh, that's, also recommending you, if, you're, if you're coming as militia from out of state, there are rules and regulations and laws in place. You're crossing the state borders as militia. So and people don't see me saying, you know, I'm militia and I'm going to age. Well, wait a second. When you go there, I'm with a people protester. If you tell us I'm with the militia from blah, 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 well, okay, it could be a potentially hazardous situation. The thing is, laws are that you're not supposed to do that. So even though they told the call to arms, Nevada should be really taking care of their own right now, but nobody else put up, which is why everybody else kind of had it up. You know, keep in mind all those factors. I don't want a bunch of dudes that are my brother and out there, you know, whether or not they're all, you know, all good or not, you know, they're claiming to be militia. You can't really. If somebody came into Illinois and said, I'm with the militia, da, 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 and start barking orders at people, there's going to be a problem. You know, um, that's what we're trying to avoid. So go directly to your chain of command. That's who you report to. Call in, do what they say, and uh, you better be peaceful, man. Uh, for a second, 
reference if you have any issue about it coming here. Apparently, there's a neighborhood a reservation nearby that should be opening in about eight to ten hours. Um, if you can contact them before you get there, we need to verify if that can be used as a uh, you know secretary uh, retreat zone. They are federally protected. Apparently, they were our first and nephew looking at me. Um, we're trying to get that double confirmed, triple confirmed, get them officially on this call. Anybody wants to help out with that in the morning at 702-865-2790. Call the tribal office, let them know about this call. We need to hear it. It's okay if we send refugees if they need to be out there and protect it. And uh, there's nobody that knows anything like a, a, a gun grab or a land grab by the Native Americans. They're still pretty pissed off about it. So show some respect. You know, you come stay with it out. Hey, man, they're trying to take our land and our guns. Uh, you better show some respect because uh, they've been there and they understand it's about time we actually uh, chimed in with some Native Americans and are still offering refuge to us Americans. So think about that. I'm going to move on to the next But do you have that, uh, that phone number again for tribal right? office? Right? <clears throat> yeah. 702-865-2790. Try to give me confirmation, man, since you're headed that way. Um, they're only 10 minutes, 10 miles, give or take away. And uh, it sounded like a really good objective to have a secondary rally point that is thoroughly protected. I'd like to see uh, these foreigners even try to get past that barrier, you know. <laughs> no offense, no, I guess I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really like to see that, but make a good movie, I guess. Go ahead. What time do you think you're going to be on tomorrow? I'm going to try to fall in at approximately 8 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry, today. You lose the second sure. time here, then. Um, so, yeah, later, 8 p.m. later Central Standard Time. And uh, it should be the same phone number for everybody else. And, uh, again, for that, it'll be kind of chaotic. Some guys have been mediating while I'm gone. Um, but they don't have the same control panel that I do. Um, it'll be a, a large open call. And you'll have to mute yourself out with Star Six so you don't uh, play with feedback and echoes. And you know, nobody wants to hear you eating a bag of chips, beating your kids, or kicking stuff. Okay, and uh, one more question. When, uh, when we do go there and we arrive, where, where is the best place to go to? Uh, you'll know when you're there, man. Um, you're going to be walking a bunch of protesters and uh, militia guys in that vicinity. If you're going straight in, again, uh, you'll come in as a piece of paint supplies. I'm sure you have that list available to you, what they're looking for um, and what they need uh, from, you know, boots on the ground. You know, make sure you can hold your own, first and foremost, for if you plan on being there, nobody, nobody likes a, uh, a move. So, you know, try to bring extras. Um, Got it. Thank yeah, you. Uh, the, yeah, uh, there was definitely a request for night vision goggles, glow sticks, uh, batteries, food, water, etc. Um, I highly recommend it to get your hands on a generator. That's going to come handy, as well as uh, shade uh, by day. Don't forget extra shade. Got it. Thank you very much. 10 4 man. Chime in anytime. Let us know when you're there, okay? Okay. All right, uh, 342, you're in. I called you last night, so I should just nickname myself the call center. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, how you been? I'm good. Oh, your shows are right. I love listening to it. I listen to the people. I'm not going to rehash it because everybody's done that before. I about the two years, and you're not doing a good job. 20-minute guy. Whatever. So, that's fine. That's done. Um, so basically, um, to echo what one of the other women said before me, that if you did a radio show nightly, weekly, however you pan it out, that I did, would definitely be here as time allotted um, to, you know, support you even financially if you needed, um, like Kickstarter, crowdfunding, or however you do that. I would be more than willing and, you know, able to do that if you needed it. So you definitely would have like 100% support for me on that one. Wow, that's awesome. Um, well, well Keep tuned on. I'm going to be keeping this uh, conflict open the best I can. Uh, while uh, my relationship with uh, these new fans progresses, you know, there's a lot of things on the table right now. Okay, all of a sudden everything is quiet. What just happened? There's something on my end or somebody else's end here? Um, one moment while I figure this out.
Okay, my my Skype just crashed. That was interesting. So I'm going to reconnect us into the call here. I'm going to load uh, Skype back up and so on. So just uh, bear with me for a moment while I do that. My apologies for the technical difficulty. My Skype had crashed and I am reloading it. So bear with me one moment. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call hd.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This Access code accepted. There are 67 participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Q&A session started. You keep by chiming in try to get somebody else addicted that uh, gives us what's going on in America, you know. Uh, so we're going to try to keep this open for future events and endeavors. But uh, thank you for uh, th thanks for your kind of words and becoming a fan. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you guys need financial help because I can get a little bit every month, and I'll be more than willing to do this. As soon as you like get it off the ground or bounce it out, let me know, and I'll be I can you know I'll help you. I really appreciate that. Anybody else wants to chime in? You know, the more people that say that they're a lot closer, I'm going to get to that point because that's what. Uh, what I don't need the other side for, if I can do this independently and, and, and keep control exactly as I've been doing, then everything will be cool. I've got other people throwing offers out on the table, but uh, I'm not taking anybody. I can read my print just fine, and uh, you know I don't like what I see right now. So if I'm free reign, I can go somewhere. In the long run. This is why I listen to people like you and independent people, and it goes for music and everything else. But I don't listen to these these you know talking heads that are pretty much you know, sold out. They're they're nothing more than a, a commodity. A commodity can at the, high, the highest, you know, it could be poured out for the highest price. You know what? You're too good for that. So if you can avoid that, finance yourself independently and don't let anyone say, here's a contract, sign the dotted line, here's a couple of million. You can do what you want because sooner or later they're going to come back and say, well, you can do what you want, but this 1%, you're going to do what we want. And it always turns out that way. Right. We're, we're using a few avenues, you know, to secure those kind of ideas. So uh, it's definitely to do with that. And uh, something's going to happen. It's just. Uh, we just got to make sure everything falls into place the right way, you know, and uh, I, I'm more, I, I honestly would rather, hey, if I can do this as I have been on my own, yada, yada, with even just this conference call, uh, I'm totally fine with that. It's just a matter of, I don't have to get syndicated. If you want to rebroadcast, it's cool, but if people are making money off of this rebroadcast, which I found out a few people already are, um, you need to talk to them. Yeah, you always need to be, in order to be able to, you know, sleep at night and lay down your, in bed and go to bed with a clear conscience, you always need to have full creative control 100%, because if anything less, you're just, it, it, it will be worth it in the long run. For sure, you've seen things like that in Alex Jones, so, uh, you know, even RT or uh, Gary Frenzy, um, you know, some of those things came a lot really scripted, I mean, there's no scripts here, and these are just people calling in from all over the country that think it's, uh, you know, that's trying to do through social networking. Um, that are really interested in what's going on. Uh, I've got uh, some people in the queue, so just go ahead and move on to. Yeah, I, but, uh, I really I'm appreciate you calling. Everybody, that's our friend, call center lady. She's remained mysterious, but we really appreciate your response. Uh, 2628, you are apparently in the queue. What's up? Hey, Brian. Uh, instead of being anonymous, I figured I'd open up this time. It's Archangel again. How are you? Hey, I'm good, man. Thanks for doing that. I don't mind anybody for calling in anonymous. It's just uh, I'm hesitant to first. I'll let you in. I'll let you speak. But anybody gets out of no, uh, calling in anonymous. Uh, this box. Okay. I got you. I, I wanted you to have the number anyway. Um, I did send you that message through not the site's name that I do, but uh, through my personal name, which is where you first uh, probably caught up with me. I don't know if you remember what it was, but it's under the name Kevin. Uh, anyway, um, what I... Is what I just heard true? People are actually trying to make money off of, of the report cast on this? Uh, I, you, some people got to my attention. We're all working it out, man. I, uh, there are capabilities for people with you, and since they're getting a lot of hits off of this the broadcast, you know, um, you're going to have to work something out. Obviously, um, I, I would like people to broadcast this. I haven't seen you know, anything really 
other than, uh, you know, I actually was going to do that, so it was a good time, but now uh, I'm not looking sorry in that or anything into the people what you're doing, but uh, I've seen those people who's out there, you know, they're definitely uh, active talking to our monetary game, uh, but they're making, uh, and I'm not, you know, obviously that's the situation. So. You know, I, I just think that that's really shitty. Uh, excuse my language, it's really shitty. I mean, the site that I'm involved with uh, has been up for about a year and a half, and we don't advertise nothing, nothing, period, okay? There's no money ever made off of it. It's only to inform people and to keep things going. Like I said, I've been with you since Friday night, basically, on and off all day and all night. Uh, if, if I'm not talking to you, I'm listening to you, you know? But listen, I just wanted to check back in. I wanted to drop that number with you, and I'd appreciate if you get a chance to take a look at that message when you can, okay? Yeah, I appreciate you paying attention. As you know, I'm a little slow. I will get through it most likely uh, probably after my uh, second break at work, which is be a lot closer to 5 p.m. But uh, I got a lot of stuff to catch up on with at work. Uh, I got a, a lot of new fans uh, there as well. So um, I'm trying to make it all work, man. But yeah, I will get back to you eventually. You'll see me as you. I'll be removing a lot of people, people that have followed me recently. I'll be getting back to you as well. I realized my, uh, my everything went from 4,600 likes to 500 in just a couple of days. So. Or sorry, five thousand. Gotcha. But uh, hey, I'll be, that, I'll be that's not a bad part. thing. Mm-hmm. That, that's not a bad thing at all, man. Um, you, like I said before, you're doing a hell of a job. Keep up the good work. Uh, I think you you might want to start heading down towards the pillow at this point. Anyway, I'm sure you're gonna have a long day tomorrow, so I ain't gonna keep you any longer. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna try to moderate a little during the day tomorrow if I can. Thank you. I can't sit. I can't stand in your shoes. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't know how, but uh, I'll give it a shot, okay? I'm making make it work, and I appreciate your kind words, man, and uh, thanks for being a new fan, and, uh, uh, you know, when this goes goes full throttle, then definitely stick around and, uh, you know, try to get more people in there, too. Well, when you read my email, you will you might understand a little more, okay, uh, my message. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, buddy. Have a, have a good night. Thank you. Uh, got a caller at 1453. You're up. <clears throat> yeah, she here. <laughs> You're doing fabulous, darling. You are doing absolutely you. fabulous. I'm serious. Thank you, you, you give all these other people, all these uh, quote unquote um, radio talk, whatever, internet. Leave it alone. I'm, the way you're doing it right now is off the chain. Nobody can yeah. compete. You have incredible patience. You're very charismatic. You're very intelligent. You know how to handle people. You're patient. And you sometimes, uh, the few people we have push and you hung in there tight as a screw. I got a can of WD-40 just in case. Um, <laughs> there's a few things that people getting crazy on the page. Um, I'm going to have a talk with Mr. Kelso. I hope you're listening to me, David. Baby, I love you. Um, of course I am. This is not over. The funny thing is not even supposed to be an over. This is just a ruse right now. And rumors are flying us. They're going to do in this uh, Zionist thing, social media thing. I'm sorry. I thought Dr. Berg heard that. Um, more or less, kind of like when we do an American Spring, and I don't mean planting cherry blossom trees or whatever, it would be the most perfect time to come down hard. The land is too valuable to the quote unquote Illuminati cabal. I hope people realize this is really serious, and everybody. Taking it serious. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah. About an hour ago, I, I'm getting back just to this message right now. Uh, Polar Cell did chime in directly. Uh, yeah. He used some code. He used some code that I can verify. Saying he's cool. He's actually uh, looking okay. at my reply right now. And okay. uh, I know it's in. Anybody who's looking for Polar Cell, just want to chime in. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. okay so, go ahead. Um, another thing that somebody put up on the page was about Morse code. Okay. Um, right. Which is, I, I have to know that they're not out of their mind, that the FCC does not use Morse code. And the police departments do not use Morse code. Nobody uses it anymore. Let's get some knowledge. Right, typically they don't. Okay. Typically they don't. That's why we're having problems because uh, the, the first they shut down, I think it was three con lines uh, within just a Your couple of days. Your conference recording has stopped. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just using that for the live broadcast. Hang on, you know what? I'm gonna leave that off. Let's go all. Uh, let's all go off the cuff for a little bit. Hear my own voice. 
be off the cuff for a while. Um, I'm going to shut this down here in just a couple minutes anyway. I'm going to take in the next two callers. I appreciate you chiming in again, hon. You're awesome. You've been a trooper. Uh, I always appreciate your comments, and you got a really cool spirit. You remember that. And I'm here for you, bro. I'm doing whatever I can do. Thank you. Thank you. We're not doing yeah, you long radio. We're not doing long radio. This okay, I'll watch out. I'll watch out for that. I'm serious. You went in once. You were out of time. I understand. You have a great I, I, I want to accommodate the way it has been, and I was thinking, trying to get the video conference going as well. Um, I think it works better this way. It really does. Yeah. And all these women want that way we don't have to, to, we don't have to look at everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't want to see man boobs. I don't want to see man boobs. No, I don't want to see female boobs either. I got my own to deal with. Oh, that would add. Trust me, you don't want to. You don't want to be dumb, dumb, and dumber. Okay, trust me, sweetheart. I love you. Twenty-one oh five. You're up. Okay. Uh, who was mentioning something about looking for a way out? The unified. I'm sorry. Say that again. Looking for a what? Okay. A way of unified communications in an easier format. I used to launch an organization that used a what's called TeamSpeak server, and with that, uses voice over over internet protocol. But here is that where you can see who everybody can see who's there, but also right. can private message amongst each other. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Related to TeamSpeak, is something you've used, or did you just say you worked there? I have used it. I, I, okay. I, mean, I used to belong to a national organization back five years ago that utilized that as a method of root opposition, communication, and information dissemination. You know you're 100% correct, dude. Um, that's a really fabulous. Yeah, I wish. Awesome. Um, I'm going to get that integrated. And I know exactly what you did before, but I never really did it. Games on and using it for the same purpose yet, for the real purpose. That's a great idea, dude. Damn, who are you? My name's Sean from Michigan. From Michigan. Um, wow, man. Are you in touch with your local Second Amendment groups by chance? Uh, I used to be a member of the Michigan Militia, but also used to belong to the National Organization of the Tuskegee. Okay. Well, that's that's a lot cool. of guys have. Banded and rebanded, and disbanded and rebanded again out there, and just hopefully somebody can step up and kind of gather these guys together. To well, that's why I'm working out with my crew over here because my crew's still together. We're still working, training together, trying to keep a lookout and disseminate as much information as possible amongst ourselves, but also with our contacts with other different organizations. Um, you know what, man? How much time have you had dedicated to these calls with your money? I've been on this call now since about, I would say, 8 p.m. yesterday after evening. Right on, so happy to, uh, right. Um, were you on prior to this or no? Uh, I just found out about it to a friend of mine in Tennessee about 8, about 8 o'clock this last evening. Okay, good for it. Yeah, we've been going for a few days. I was just curious. Um, I don't know if you're in a position, man, but we need some more comms uh, operators you know, that are helping out when these when calls get heavy. Um, you know, you seem like a cool cat. I'd like you to consider something like that in your future, so considering, you know, you just did me a huge favor, um, you know, as far as helping out with Tom, that that's a great idea, and we're going to utilize that as soon as possible. Um, huh? Yeah, that's actually, might have. Go ahead. That was the team server. I'm totally familiar with that. This was the previous organization. I was an administrator on the server itself with that okay. organization. So you know how to establish that? I uh, would have to. It's it's easy to use the server. It's just uh, there was one guy that was paying for it. He said it cost like 100 bucks a month to utilize it. He had unlimited bandwidth, and he created subsection rooms in there for different types of conversations and such. It's a really good idea. Uh, is it IP and only? Is there a way to get in through your phone IP? Um, can you speak have an application there? Yeah, the application you can get on the TC site itself. It works for the iPhone and the Apple app and the Apple iPhones and for the Android. 
beautiful, beautiful. That actually really adds to the concept that I was thinking about uh, earlier about that it comes because this is not working currently, uh, at least 100% effective. But all right, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, I got two more people in the queue. Anything you want to chime in with? I'll give you another minute if you want. I don't think you, you've got my number on your screen there, should be, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You want to uh, stay in touch on this? You might be able to help out with the uh, comments project with us. Or... Uh, if I can help you out with a few things, I'm, I'm on the air. I'm, I'm a cab driver. So I'm out here from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern all the time. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let's take advantage of that, bro. Um, I'm hanging on to your number. Uh, what's your first name, if you don't mind me asking? Sean. Sean, I believe you did say that before. I apologize. I'm just writing it down now. But uh, you and I are going to be in communication. I got a long list of people I got to keep in touch with. But uh, or... you cut off. Um, you there? Yes, you're good to go. I'm still here. Okay, you keep going. So you're going to let you keep in contact with it and wait for a second. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll definitely be in contact. I'm going to make sure Tom gets a hold of you soon, okay? All right. Thanks, brother. Uh, all right. We've got, uh, we're going to start wrapping it up real soon. If we want to get maybe two more people in the queue, we've got wireless caller 9242. Go ahead. Yes, uh, this is Mama Bear, and I was on the ground during the whole time. And I also just brought some, I had somebody go by the uh, Bundy Ranch. Um, and he went by the Bundy Ranch. Um, uh, and he just got back from there. He's been there for a couple hours now. Everything is fine. And I had him check the motels around the area. And the motels around the area, uh, BLM has left the area. They were at the motels. Well, that's good to know. I really appreciate that closing out. Looks like we got a full job out for sure from BLM to confirm. Uh, we did have some sightings of a possible DHS convoy. We definitely have a uh, National Guard was also at an interval, but I'm maybe not the same one. No, there's nobody there. We just checked the motel, and we, we I, I don't know what's going on or how all these sightings are happening, but I, I, he just went home about when I called back in. I had to put you on hold for a second so I could just even take his call after he checked the motels. Um, the motels are at normal level. He's local there, and they're they're just not there. I mean, there I mean, there's a, there's a little bit um, left, but they were there last night too with some. Um, and I'll, I'll be going by there again tomorrow morning. Um, but there's a, a little bit of light left where the, where the original cattle, cattle compound was, but a lot of the equipment's already already gone and everything else. Beautiful. That's what we like to do. You know, you know time like that, we pretty much boots on the ground for the most part. Well, I I made sure I had some boots on the ground because I had to take a guy uh, back to another state, and now I'm on my way back. So I made sure that I could have boots on the ground quickly there, and um, we would actually do fine because this this gentleman that that just went by for me, he can he can put quite a few hundred there in in a matter of you know a couple hours. He's he's local. So I'm I'm really not concerned about the Bundys right now. I, I think I don't think that there's going to be a backlash at all. Now I would like to share share with you all what happened because I was there since Thursday afternoon. Go ahead and talk to that before. What What do you think people want to know most? Uh, without giving away too much, you know, approximately how many members, you know, were up there, um, you know, was there all vacation? Well, you know, not, not counting the militia, we had about, at the highest, I, I would say about 250 that we could see at the, at the staging area, at the home base. 
Um, we didn't really go over to the ranch. Um, and then Friday, that was on Thursday, and then Friday, we just kind of relaxed. I mean, realized we got, you know, breakfast and supper served to us. And there was no money just sitting out there. The, they, they fed everybody in the area. Wow. Yeah, wow, well, it's it right. Place and all that? They, they brought, well, everybody would just, you know, come in and come out. So that's why it was hard to get a, you know, real quick head count. Um, and they would, they would just go, they brought in porta potties. They brought in a dumpster for trash. Um, just, they, they made sure everything, you know, we were very well cared for. They're, they're a fantastic, fantastic family, fantastic host. Um, Friday, we kind of really took the day off. Thursday afternoon, we did have it where those, those uh, younger men, you know, got picketed and, and they let them out in the desert and we had to go pick them up. 600,000 acres is a lot to go. They said it was only two exits up. Well, yeah, it was only two exits up, but those two exits were like 20 or 25 miles. And then it was another, it felt like 15 or 20 miles down the road to get to where where they were. Um, yeah. I mean, 600,000 acres is a lot, and, and I didn't realize the vastness of what two exits was out here. Right, a lot different from Chicago, I see. Yeah. Yeah, my voice is normally not this hoarse, <laughs> but this normally happens when, you know, you've been at rallies and for days. Yeah, that was me after a ZZ Top concert at Colorado. The what? That sounded like me after a ZD Top concert uh, quite a while back. But uh, <laughs> all right, um, I appreciate the updates. Um, I'm actually I, really want to. You got more to say? I definitely want to keep it on if you can give us more feedback. I definitely. I have more to share. Um, what happened then? Um, on Saturday morning, it was supposed to be a nine o'clock meeting, and at nine o'clock we all went there just like we always did at the different meeting. And um, they, we heard that uh, Sheriff Gillespie was supposed to be there. And um, he came up and he said he was going to support the funding. And a lot of cheers went up because that meant that he was going to ask BLM to leave the area. No. Okay. And then the horses started coming. And it was, it was the rancher, it was the Bundys. Mm -hmm. the, the Bundys are a huge, huge family. Um, they have yearly reunions. Um, just, they, they're really a large family. So they start coming up on the horses and we were just cheering. And I talked to one lady afterwards and she said, what was the cheering about? Because she was on a horse. <laughs> and I told her, I said, we just found out that Gillespie was going to back us. She goes, is that what it was? So she didn't even know that, that we knew that we were going to win at that point. You know, we were fairly certain we were going to win. It was a pretty big win to get the sheriff. And then... Um, Clive, Mr. Bundy, went and he made some demands. One of them was that they lay down their arms and brought in the arms. Lay down your arms and bring us back our cattle, you know. And you have one hour. And in one hour, then, of course, they didn't do anything. And um, Mr. Bundy got a little upset at the media for nobody going with the sheriff to find out if it was going to get done. So he said, fine, you guys just, you know, let's just go, go to the compound ourselves and, and get, go get the cattle back. 
So we all just kind of scrambled and jumped into cars and uh, went down there. And we walked down under the bridge and then we all kneeled down and we prayed. And then we went on the on the under the bridge and waited for the horses. And the horses had a five mile ride. That that kind of gives you an idea. I mean five miles and that was a short part of the ranch. <laughs> Um, yeah, and while they were riding, they stopped twice, and they also got down on their knees and prayed, and I found that out afterwards, and then when they got there, they went pretty much to the front of the line, the front of us, and we were still behind in the shade, and they talked. And um, then, you know, we had been chanting, like they were saying, uh, you must disperse the area, you know, they were over the loudspeaker, the place, you must disperse the area, and we, we yelled back, you disperse the area, you disperse the area. So when they said stuff, we would just, you know, Counter, countermand it with our own chance. And so when the horses arrived, then we proceeded more at the halfway point between the two bridges. And we waited. And then they said, um, they said, we've been authorized to use deadly force. And this is crucial at this point because we have guns pointed at us. I mean, I talked to the one of the women on the uh, on the horse, and she said she, you know, just to be on that horse and be staring down, she felt almost so alone because she was just staring down those guns, and she wasn't even armed. Not all of them were armed. The majority of people there were not armed. So, um, you know, of course I was, and then we had some rifles, and then our militia eventually caught up to us and managed to get up on top of the bridge. Um, they, they flanked us, and that five-mile ride kind of helped give us the time we needed to get everyone in, in order. So... We gave them time after they said that they were going to use deadly force. And, and we kind of we immediately proceed forward. If we had immediately proceed forward, then that, that would have probably had a different outcome. But what we did is give them time to think about what they were just authorized to do. Because these are Americans. So we were doing different chants to to tell them to think about it, basically. I forget what the chants are, but I have them on YouTube. I know, yeah, they're, I have them on my Facebook also, or at least I'll be getting them on. That's awesome. I'm going to be able to chime in at the end of this call. I'm glad, huh? I'm glad you were able to chime in at the end of this call, you know, and give us some updates like that. That's really yeah. what we want to hear and, all along. Well, what happened was, we, we went and we waited a little bit, and then we started the dancing forward again. And we just kind of kept going forward and, and you know, kind of with our hands in there, showing that we're unarmed, and we just kept advancing forward. And finally we got up to the gate, and we just took our time. We didn't push hard. And um, they... They had a decision. I mean, they they were stuck in a spot. We had weapons. We also had um, rifles. If they had used any crowd disbursement type weapons like the LRAD or, you know, the uh, water cannon or whatever they were going to use, we had that with, among us in that, that group and up above. 
that, that could take out any and disable any of those weapons against us. So they really only had two choices. And that was to shoot us or to stand down. And I think it was huge that we only gave them two choices. It wasn't this stuff of you can use these crowd disbursement weapons. Uh -uh. No, you're not going to use those against American people because we know how to countermand them. And I think that, that they knew that, and that's why they didn't go that route. Yeah, these were should have these protests. No, we went there, we went there, the, some, some of the people were what we call civilians. I mean, we had civilians among us. We had our patriots that, you know, uh, uh, that were more our Minutemen type, okay, and Minutemen and minute women. But that had been, you know, in these, in these, not this circumstance, I mean, I've never been in an armed standoff with the federal government. <laughs> um, we've had people that have been in this battle for a long time. That we knew that when we went there, that we, we would stand behind the Bundys as long as they were standing. If they, they were the ones leading, and we let them lead. And if they wanted to go forward, we went forward. And um, I know that, that a lot of the civilians, what I call civilians, had a, had a decision to make, and they all pretty much just all stayed also. And, and in fact, more were coming down from up above. Um, and they all, I mean, we just knew it. You know, I, for me personally, I already knew that I would, I would stay. It is, you know, and that, there are numbers were so important that I couldn't walk away. Well, let me ask you if you're about how many people you see right there in the course of You have to count them on those videos. Because there were people up above. Um, there were mo some mo militia up above. I have not been able to even look. At, I mean, they had some really great views from what I heard. but. Um, I mean, for me, the internet was difficult to get to because the nearest place was 15 miles away for me to find a Wi-Fi or an internet connection. Um, and I've been just with them or driving, you know? So I haven't had time to look at all the news sources. I just, there was probably, I, I would say, at least 500 when we got back from the stand down. But we stayed and nobody left. Nobody left until those cows got, got across that bridge. We were all dedicated to, to getting those cattle back. And uh, overall, we didn't really get them all back because we were getting back, but we were just very excited to find out. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand you. I said, uh, and what was it all? The uh, cattle, but was the rancher uh, fairly satisfied as many as they did get back? Oh no, it's horrible. It is. Uh, both my parents were raised on farms, so I kind of understand what uh, some of this, you know, the ranch life. And I only saw about 15 calves out, out of the, you know, the 300 that that they were supposed to have gone and gotten. And this was calving season. So I knew that we, you know, I knew right away that we were missing a lot of cats. And so I talked to the lady that was on the horse. Um, and I, and she said when she went over to the uh, compound to get the cattle, she said the minute she pulled, the minute she pulled her horse up, she just, Tears just came to her eyes because the poor little calves, their tongues were just hanging out because they were so thirsty. Because there was no water. 
none none of the cattle had water. And so and I didn't even know this. They didn't even they couldn't even get all the the cattle back. I thought it was a little short for the three thirty five, but I, I'm not sure exactly what the situation was or, but I know that they had to leave more calves that had just been born. They were born in the compound. Um, and also there were calves that were just too weak. Too weak to, to make it. To make the five mile ride five mile ride home. No matter how easy they took them on it, they, the calves were too weak. So they, they were going to have to go back and, and get the calves strong enough to even get them back to the Bundy Ranch. Um, I know that they said, what, 138 had lost. Excuse me. Um, I hate these roads sometimes. But um, 138 head lost. Um, they shot two of the bulls, but I don't know how many they were. How many, you know, from just running those cattle like they did. How many of those calves just were aborted? Just you know, mother. If the cows are run too hard, the mothers are going to abort. Um. So I don't know, and. They don't. They don't even know what their head count is, and they don't know for a few weeks if 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 how many they really lost. I can't hear you. I hope somebody's going to take responsibility for the loss of these rangers and everybody else that took. Yeah, hopefully there's a way there's countermeasures that he can sue. Hopefully get repercussion on that. Well, the the battle is not over for them. They still have court stuff and I'm sure to go through. Um and you know, yeah, considering that they took our license plates and stuff, I, yeah, I do fully accept on the door. A bunch of people just trying to so I'm gonna hit uh this caller nineteen ninety four, are you up there? Yeah, I'm here for that. Please go ahead. I had a you might want to ask her a question since she was on tape. No, good for her. I'm glad to hear her. Uh, cool. that's, that's what I was going to comment on. You know, your show is about awareness. And I think that's what America needs is awareness. I, I hope you Good, good. I'm glad I got a pen in. Uh, where, where are we calling in from exactly here? Ohio. Cool, cool. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I mean, uh, I'm trying to do the best. I think that was done about a half hour ago, so I'm really trying to find this down. Um, 92, 94, I'd love to keep you going, but I'm going to let the like, next three people cycle through, and I think I'm going to shut this bad boy down tonight, okay? I'd like to get your thoughts. Sure, sure. Um, you know, powers of the, the administration, uh, three letter agencies, you know, they're, they're not stupid. And they're usually about five steps ahead of them, which I know, I, I thank God for the militia and the Americans coming down there taking a stand. But what I'm afraid of is, you know, just for instance, they can put a plan in there, one shot fired, and then all hell breaks loose. You know, it, it could be a diversion, you know, they, they got can, every Can I answer there. this question? I, I, is it all right? Um, there, there was an attitude among us, and we had enough people within, within that crowd, and we had enough militia, and the attitude is we police ourselves. If someone had done that, we would have completely policed them. They would have been brought down right then and there. I'm so glad to hear that. But it only takes one idiot. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And I mean, the government or all or whoever you want to look at, they're fully aware of their control of the situation. You, you know, you have to, when you're on the ground like that, you just have to deal with that at the time if it happens. And and that's part of what the praying is about. And there's nothing you can do. And you just got to stand there and stand your ground and and have that, that grit to you to go. I totally agree. And, and I hope that that's how it is. You know, a few callers ago, you know, the guy said that militia is a real American. They're taking a stand for America. They're putting themselves out there. But to a lot of people in America, militia is a bad thing. You know, and this awareness, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so glad to, to hear this conference. I hope that conferences start springing up everywhere because... That is the fix in America, in my mind. Just bring it also the procedure. I, 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 if you want a good alternative, that you know what? Why don't we invite more people in? Here? We get everybody on board, and we can. You know, and so many great people have uh, been chiming in. Appreciate you calling in, sir, and I appreciate your kind words. Thank you. 1994, you're in. Nineteen ninety four, come on back. Try to unmute. I don't uh, my small. Yeah, you're, you're sorry, yeah, you're still on uh you were done, right? Yeah. I want to. Oh shit. You don't say yeah and then say something, damn it. I'm sorry man, I didn't mean to hang up on you. You said yeah you were done, so I clicked. Um, 9519, go ahead. Can you hear me? I got you loud. Fantastic. Hey, um, you know, I spoke a few minutes ago, and I, I just, I, I wanted to pass on my sympathies to the young lady that, that was, that was on just a minute ago that is an absolute journey that she was on, and I wish that I could have been there to, to help out with everything, and I wanted to thank her specifically for being on that journey and, and uh, again, extend my sympathies to the Bundys because they've, they've experienced a, a huge, huge loss. Um, beyond that, again, thank you, Brian. I know you're about to sign off. Uh, but, again, everybody, please, please, please support these people. Please support your, your militias. Uh, it's what this country's made out of. That's all I've got, Brian. Thank you. Well, I totally appreciate it. How many hours did you say you got uh, back to the this whole project? Uh, seven so far. Uh, yeah, it's been a, been a busy, bumpy road, man, but it's been kind of cool. And uh, thanks for chiming in, man, letting people know. Uh, I've got a couple of people still that are heading to the range. They're going to plan on uh, chiming in tomorrow. I'm looking at a lot of messages on Facebook. I've got 34 presently. If you've added me or if you've uh, done the following thing, I'll try to get to you uh, as soon as I can. i got some people asking how they could help. And another uh, good amount of groups saying they're still sending people out there. So um, I'm doing what I can to get up back to you. But uh, all right, I'm going to move on to the next guy real quick. And I uh, appreciate you chiming in. Uh, 2243, you're up. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Justin from Florida. Um, the lady that was just talking was talking about the cattle and the way they were treated while they were in BLM custody. Uh, if she could contact me, this is one of those things that, you know, the left really hasn't been behind this event. But I, I think I can run an article about how the cattle were treated in BLM custody, and I think we might be able to change that. Uh, it's on Facebook, Justin King News, so facebook.com slash Justin King News. Please contact me um, and maybe we can set up an interview. Yeah, Josh, I uh, actually sent you a message directly on, uh, as you mentioned the other day when you chimed in, it sounds like you got that. Thank you for uh, coming in. 
Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yours too. Yeah. <laughs> I actually I talked to the editor about what I sent you a, a PM about, and uh, yeah, we're we're good to go as soon as you want. Uh, I like how you think things. I appreciate that. Um, again, I got a lot of things to consider right now. Um, I, I happily want to go to this, but I do love with all my heart. And uh, I've grown a lot too, you know. Um, and this is growing quickly, so I've got a lot of things to contemplate, you know. And I would probably be going by day one by night and uh, more at least. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, sure I I'm probably looking for some co hosts in the new future, so a couple of people in mind on that as well. But uh, we'll see what I can get to the kid again. Um, I will definitely look at uh, look at that data as soon as I get a chance to take it. All right. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. in, okay? Yep. Anytime. Thanks, Luke. Right. And last but not least, possibly Big Larry. What's going on, man? <coughs> hey, Brian. How you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing, man? Uh, thanks for coming back in. You're still on top of some info, aren't you? Um, actually, uh, I've been listening to you before, this whole time. I wanted to chime in. Uh, just because uh, I really hope we got that recorded with what she just said about the title. Uh, yeah, actually, the playback on this episode, uh, 559-726-1399, and the key code for the last segment. Oh, uh, shit, you know what? I don't get that report. I just realized we shut off the topic. I know, that's why. I just realized that. Um, see, you never know, and I was hoping like, Crashing this 40 minutes ago, and it can happen. But uh, she'll have to try and get it again tomorrow, man. I apologize for not grabbing that. Anybody uh, who caught that live, if you want to drop the, that information again somehow? Shit, I didn't even think about that. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, I've already been in a whole new segment, but we're going to leave it about an hour long. Um, so, you had no idea that was going to be a beautiful session. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably have her uh, time back in tomorrow. If possible. I'm going to be still on the line, so definitely, I mean, uh, after eight, so we can do that again. And as far as uh, my pitch for you know, getting uh, trained uh, professionals out there, uh, uh, as suggested, you did uh, active military, and then uh, after I was talking to you, I was like, you can't go because uh, you're going to court martial or something like that. So, yeah, yeah. I was thinking more of uh, going along the lines of getting uh, law enforcement and uh, veterans. Fresh out of uh, the category, fresh out of the military. Um, I'll be talking to a lot of different people tomorrow about that. I'll keep that study on that. But I just wanted to chime in and say that that, uh, that story, Ooh, so many people have no idea what happened to the cattle so many of them. That story must get out. Uh, you are 100% correct, and we will make sure that happens again. So you can get her back in online with uh, if, if, if there's a list in that, I'm uh, sorry, later, I'll go to them. Uh, essential standard time, and uh, so I have to go over that all over again. A lot of people are going to want to know there's still 60 plus people on the call, and that's all I can see. We've got a good portion of people from uh, all over actually rebroadcasting this. Oath Keepers are rebroadcasting it. There was someone that was related to the Media Network, uh, News Ninja, uh, a whole bunch of good people time in this. And uh, they're rebroadcasting. Uh, it's also, we go to uh, Community conference calls on Facebook to actually be able to get to the uh, feed um, that they're doing to uh, YouTube. I'm sorry, not YouTube, um, just to kind of keep everybody on the same page. Um, I'm kind of burnt out. i got to get some rest, man. It's actually three. I'm way extended on this letter, so I appreciate you being a last caller and chiming in and helping them in. Uh, what that chimes in? We've got a lot of cool patriots and researchers out there that have been, uh, you know, all part of this. Way and some that are just chiming in halfway or toward the third portion of this, but uh, it's been a trip, <laughs> and I appreciate everybody that's been uh, helping out the best they can, and uh, it's been awesome, man. This has totally evolved into something completely different than where we started, but uh, it's excellent. It's excellent, and can't believe uh, that's, that's how it works, man. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, and just, yeah, it's just been really fluid. Uh, I'm gonna have to give everybody a warning who's still on now. This thing is uh, gonna go off. Uh, in a little bit. I'm no longer going to be in charge. It's going to be kind of chaotic if people are still trying to chime in. Anybody wants to kind of help mediate with yelling over each other, try to be respectful to each other. Um, there's only one in that comes one that can actually mute out anything of the conversation at all. 
So uh, I expect it to go chaotic until approximately 8 p.m. Central Standard Time later. And uh, yeah, I can just imagine what it's going to be like. I'm almost scared to let the conversation go, to be honest, just because I know how chaotic it has been. <laughs> uh, well, you know what, Brian? If, if you don't have plenty of rest, then you, you can't do as quickly as you, as you have been. And, and you've, been, you've been a solid, uh, a solid person throughout this whole thing. And we really, we really appreciate your strength for all this. And we appreciate what you did. Cool. Uh, that, again, that means a lot. Every time somebody says that, I get a little bit more wind and it just motivates me to move forward, you know. Um, I'm going to play uh, that song that I mentioned. This is a friend of mine. They call him Mike on a bike. Um, I met him a few years back in the winter when, uh, he, you know, he's been living on the streets for almost 10 years. It sounds like trying to get his stuff to after uh, being kind of trotted down, sticked with his van full of tools, and uh, he lost his job that day. His woman moved out. He lost his home, and... Uh, I'm sorry, it's Kondo, and, and uh, he's been living actually in a tent not too far from the railroad tracks down from my house. And, uh, you know, he's going to find out he's a writer and a musician, and he's put a lot together, and uh, I'm just trying to have to get him out there. He deserves a little notoriety to the uh, ultimate prepper, and he's got a lot of booze. Uh, he actually showed me a song a few weeks back that he was writing uh, called Three to People, coincidence. And uh, so. <laughs> the last time Brian tried to play a song through the phone, it didn't come in too clearly. We'll see what, what happens this time. Um, if it doesn't come in too clearly, I'll just uh, shut this down. And um, I'll also tell you that if you go to community conference calls on um, Facebook, there is a SoundCloud link. It'll say, Brian Dujak, D-U-S-Z-C-Z-A-K. And um, it'll say SoundCloud and, um, you know, that's on there. I'm, I'm about to put it more to the, the top of the page, kind of re-put that there. But um, there's four songs that, that his friend has done, and um, you can find it on that link. So if you don't want to, you know, you don't have to tolerate the phone quality stream through version. As a matter of fact, I'm not even hearing anything yet. So I, I, I'm not sure if the playthrough is happening on that or not. But if you go to Community Conference Calls, and that's on Facebook, um, I just posted right up to the top there, Brian Dujak, um, SoundCloud.com, <clears throat> you know, listen to Brian, explore the largest community of artists, etc., blah, blah, blah. So if you click into there, um, all four, I think it's four songs that his friend has done, um, is available on that link. And, you know, you can, you can listen to that in full quality. Yeah, here. He's starting the song. Yeah, and it sounds like absolute shit over a phone connection, which is then going through the air from my speakers, through the air of my home office, into the webcam microphone, making it probably sound even more shitty than I'm hearing it. So uh, if you want to hear these songs, I would definitely suggest you go to Community Conference Calls on Facebook, you know, click like, of course, so on and so forth. The link is right up at the top there right now, Brian Dujak, um, SoundCloud.com, and you can go in and get the full quality um, version of those songs and, and play that back instead of needing to, you know, deal with this barely audible um, nonsense. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close Skype out right now. I just did that, seeing as I, you know, just gave you all the information on how to get the songs and um, I'm going to close out this live stream right now and I'd like to, to thank everybody for listening um, any of the audio that um, was uh, difficult to make out I apologize for that it's a bit of a hodgepodge connection right now um, I am looking into to messing with something called um, uber conference
for Google Hangout, and at least in theory, I should be able to use that in conjunction with Skype and um, be able to patch the show right directly into Google Hangout and, and avoid uh, a lot of this audio distortion nonsense that is annoying as shit, but I don't have any other setup right now, so I'm, I'm going to be working on that. And um, I, I appreciate your patience. Um, I, I appreciate you guys listening. I, I appreciate, you know, all of you. And um, I hope you all have a really good night. Um, I'm just going to do some more checking up on Facebook and then, you know, go back to bed myself. I slept all the well, I slept for like half the day because I've been up for like two, three nights. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be... Um, well, I'd, I'd probably need at least a few more hours sleep, and it'd be, you know, good to be up for more of the day. I got things to get done in my life, too, obviously. I raise fish and do all sorts of stuff, and we're starting to put the goldfish out in the pond in the backyard and all that happy stuff. So y'all have a good night. Y'all have fun. Um, it, it's been really awesome, everybody, you know, being able to, to come together and share ideas in, in this sort of a forum, and I, I think it's, you know, really cool and inspiring, and, you know, Brian's inspired me, and you've all inspired me, so, you know, thank you all very much for that, and, you know, we'll see you next time. Peace out.